This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. This episode is brought to you by Mac Weldon. Mac Weldon. Get one for your dad or yourself or anyone. No, just your dad or yourself. Those are your two <laughs> options. Okay. You've got to check a box on the website. Yes. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my co-host, Nick Mason. I'm here. It's I'm back at work. It sucks. That does suck for you. I know. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, everybody else, I'm sure, can... Just carry on with their day. They can absolutely carry on with their day. Some people during the week are like, oh, you'd be happy to back at, be back at work, won't you? And I'm like, anybody... no. And they're like, but don't you like your job? And I'm like, yeah, but I prefer to continue in this tradition where I'm not there and they keep paying me. Yeah. yeah. Feels good, man. Feels great. Yeah. But then do you lack purpose? Do you lack, lack drive? Do I don't you lack need motivation? any purpose or drive. <laughs> I don't want any. Stop right. trying to put purpose and drive on me. Right, so I sit at home and watch the telly. Okay, well, that's fair enough. I guess if we, this podcast gets bigger, you can do that, I yes, guess. All right. That's the but dream. If, but if it gets smaller, you have to get another job Guys, again. please, please help me realize my dream of <laughs> doing nothing and having no drive. <laughs> if you could, that's all I want. Well, people can actually uh, help realize that dream because we put up a Civil War commentary. That's right. Uh, we, did, uh, uh, we did last week in preparation for Infinity War. Captain America Civil War specifically, yes. not a commentary about the Civil War. No. Because we don't know anything about it. And there's very little footage from it as that's well. That's true, yeah. yeah. I mean, it wouldn't stop us speaking about the Civil War not knowing Definitely anything not. about it. But we would... You want you want cannons on two big wooden wheels? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can point that out. You want, you want a weird... You want a weird, like... Proto submarine, you know, like one side's got a sneaky submarine and they're bloody and it, and it works for like two minutes and then everyone drowns. You know, one of those. There's always one, isn't there? Absolutely, there is. Yeah. Uh, so that's and Clive Cussler can write a novel about oh, it. I bet he bloody could. Mm-hmm. We are uh, so that's up on the Bandcamp, uh, which you can which you can play for free or pay any amount of money and download it. If you do stream it for free, often it, uh, it unsyncs, mm-hmm. just so people know, and then. People were like, why does it sync up? Because it's the, it's just the way it works. It's not a great site. We're not doing it deliberately. We're not. No. We're not deliberately. <laughs> we haven't pre-scripted what we're going to say in the commentary. And then we just deliberately slow it down. No, we don't. We'd love to. We'd That'd love to be, be able funny. to. That'd be a funny. Uh, and funny the other bit. thing is up on the Patreon. So if you're a Patreon supporter, it's already. Right, along with a bunch of other stuff, there's mm-hmm. going to be an, a great comic caravan of garbage going Ooh. up early about the Avengers and a bunch of other stuff. The other thing is our charity campaign is kicked off as of last it's week. Kicked off. For Care Australia. It's but going it's, great guns. They should call it Care International, Mason, because that's mm. really what it's for. The uh, organization is Australian, but... Yes. They help people out. But it's our, yeah, exactly. Uh, and it focuses on education, health, water and sanitation, food security and, um, and emergency crisis support mm. for families. And at number one, a uh, good point about them, no scandals. That's the zero scandals. I went, I went to their Wikipedia page and I'm like, oh, scroll down, hope that there's no scandals. And how many scandals were zero there? Zero scandals. That's it's, good. Yeah. There's often a scandal. Uh, there's always a scandal. So, except this time, obviously. Yeah, this yeah we do. Well, Claire, I should say, really looks into these yeah, charities right. and causes and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, also, but, if you do donate, you get to ask a question mm-hmm. in the, and uh, like we did last year, we're going to do a, we're going to do a Q&A and go through as many as we can. Of all we the can't get to them all, but we give them a red hot go. We, we get to a lot though. We get to a lot, I would lot, say yeah. close to, we got to a close a lot last year. It just depends how many we get. And the other thing, we'll, we might do a little video to show like how we work in here if people really yeah. want to know that I've got a new space that we're going to be kidding out we could show that That's I true. know if you've got a suggestion for something you want to see if you yep. donate we can probably you might see, see some brief footage of your kid will blur his face out like he's a drunk on cops. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, so there are, and also uh, the other podcast in the Planet Broadcasting Network. I know Tofop have mentioned this, uh, and, and others probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're going to put up some. We bo- haven't followed up. No, we're, they're going to put up some bonus content as well. So you donate right. mm-hmm. any amount, and you you'll get something. Nice. Yeah. Even if it's only a good feeling in your heart. Yeah. But also other stuff in, in addition to Oh, yeah, actual, to that. actual content. Yeah. But also if the other stuff you don't have to listen to. That's true. But you have to listen to the good feeling in your heart. You have to it's know. It's going to make you do other nice things as well. That's right. So I'll link that below. Also, we're still in the podcast towards if people want to vote for it. Oh, um, yeah, that's so. right. That's coming up soon, isn't it? Yeah, great. Mm. Uh, People's right. choice. Yeah. You man. guys are the people and we're the choice. That's right. 
All that's linked below. Anyway, let's let's do the show, Mason. Okay. Uh, Venom dropped a trailer last week because they played it at CinemaCon or NovaCon or whatever they have. One of the one of the cons. Mm. They weren't going to release it, but then somebody posted the footage of it online. Oh, as a gift with the Venom mask. Yeah. And so I don't know whether that pushed it because it was also like the day that the Avengers reviews were going up. I think that did push it because yeah. reviews of that gift were very negative. Really? People did not. Did not I thought it looks it. good. What do you think? Well, I thought it. I I think it looks much better in trailer form. Format, but I can understand how people were like, that looks kind of average. Yeah, because you don't want the first release of it to be a gift a weird that somebody GIF. shot on their phone. Yeah, for sure. At a press event. Mm. Yeah, no, I can, I can understand that. But uh, what did you think of the trailer? Also, I did a trailer breakdown if people want to check it out. Uh, first observation, he is wearing a lot of bracelets. He is wearing a lot of bracelets. I'm not against it. I, I am. No, I, it's I, too many. I'm not against because they all represent a place he's been on his on his. But career. do they? I think probably. As, on his career as a reporter. A hard Central Park. Reporter. Yeah, Central Park. <laughs> exactly. The Lower East Side. That gelato shop that he loves that he did a piece on. A Brooklyn and Bridge. Mm-hmm. These are all places, aren't Gino's they? Gino's Pizzeria. <laughs> That's right. So he does food. He mostly does he's food. He's a food That's reporter. Right. He's, he's the Daily Bugle's food reporter in this continuity. I wonder if it is the Daily Bugle. Don't know. Because I, I talked about this in my video, but he's not a terrible reporter, is he? No, he's meant to be a good reporter, but he just makes one big mistake. Yeah. Who knows what it'll be in this. I, I assume it's tangling with the wrong team. Yeah. It's tangling with the wrong... Tangling with a symbiote. Yes. Yeah. People are saying symbiote. What do you, where, where do you stand on this? I don't care. They say symbiote in the trailer, I think. I've always said symbiote, but apparently I'm wrong. You know what? You can say whatever you want. I think I It's will. also the way that... I was going to continue. I, 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 was get... going to correct, I was never going to correct myself. I get corrected. How, what do you reckon about that, Gal Gatto? <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to correct myself. Never! I get corrected a lot. Um... And often I'm wrong, but often it's just, that's just how we talk here. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, mm-hmm. I'd say that's probably it, but I'm sure. It's I... Melbourne. It's not, it's Melbourne. No, it's Melbourne. The, the, the R is irrelevant. It's silent <laughs> and irrelevant. What about Melbourne? Oh, it's un- unpleasant. <laughs> say it here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a much better trailer. Yeah, for sure. You know what it reminds me of? And again, I said this in my breakdown. You can watch it below, mate. Hello. Uh, it's very Batman Begins, the first trailer. Yeah. As in, it's like, what is this? Bits and pieces. Oh, it's Venom. Yeah, this right. is what the first trailer should have been. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, this actually looks... Well, I didn't think it was necessarily going to be terrible from the first trailer because I'm like, well, they didn't show anything. But yeah. this actually looks... Like it could be good. I think there's some super clunky dialogue, but yes. I also think that that is that seems to be part and parcel of trailers now. Is that they cut up? There's some good lines of dialogue yeah. in the movie, and they're like, we don't have time to put them all in, so it's just you work for an evil corporation. <laughs> yeah, your boss is e- evil, and it's clearly yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's, all, it's often they'll. It seems like tr- lines are sometimes written. For trailers. And sometimes you see, in a, as we might learn later, sometimes an alternate take is in the trailer than Correct. the movie. That's right. But um, this looks a lot better. And also, uh, I should we should point out now, I, I feel we called some of the stuff that they'd admitted from the previous yeah, right. trailer. I'm saying that now because I got a lot of stuff wrong regarding Infinity War that we'll talk about hey, later. Man, it's all up in the air. Yeah, that's right. But that's good. But I there's, think, I yeah. mean, I think in the previous trailer, we just saw him driving along on a motorcycle and just cars flipping. And yeah. we're like... Probably tendrils there. Tendrils. It was tendrils there. Mm-hmm. You notice how the tendrils go through his clothing, but doesn't leave a weird... Yeah, because they're, li- they're liquidy. Yeah. They're going through the fibers. Yeah, I think that's I think. interesting. I mean, they're going very quickly. It reminds me also of Prototype, the game. Oh, the video game Prototype. Prototype. Good yeah. game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it seems like he goes to investigate, and then he gets a venom. He gets venom yeah. up his nose and butt. Some people are saying, well, maybe that's his... Maybe maybe Venom has replicated his clothing. Oh, that's Venom. possible too. But yeah. also, why would you replicate a weird sweaty sweatshirt? It's so sweaty. Well, maybe that's what he was wearing when it got him. Yeah, no, but why keep it so sweaty? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it, well, it's a different personality. It's also maybe it you likes can talk being to sweaty. us. Yeah, that's not from the comics, is it? Ah, uh, we were talking about this. Isn't it more like we and us and he's he's often saying we. Yeah. I think maybe we. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe earlier on, he's he's he debates with it more. I but, don't remember. But I mean, the, the, the I'm sure there's been a bit where they're separate or they get trapped in their mind together. Yeah, they, for sure. Yeah. They chat. Yeah, I think this is probably going to work. Yeah. Uh, we don't see any webbing, do we? No. Well, maybe he can't webbing because this doesn't come from Spider Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. that's where because a lot of the traits of Venom he borrows from Spider Man. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And but we're not getting that origin. Yeah. There's also there was the rumors that Tom Holland is going to make an appearance. What do you think about that? Do you think it's going to happen? I'd like to see that. Me too. Just put them together. MCU, I mean, if this movie is good. MCU adjacent. Yeah, well, this did say produced what produced in association with Marvel or something yeah. like that. 
Yeah. yeah. Which is uh, which is a strange way to put it because it makes it sounds like, to me, it sounds it looks like it's less tied in. Yeah. Than yeah, if like they just had the Marvel lo- logo. Yeah. Yeah, but this is set in the MCU, but not strictly. Maybe that's speaking. a contractual thing, like yeah. maybe Marvel have gone. You can't just put up the Marvel logo anymore. You have like maybe this is going forward. All the Marvel movies are going to have to. All these movies are going to have to say in association with Marvel. But it's only. It would only be this and nothing else because everything from Fox is going back. That's true. So, I don't know. We'll oh, have man. to see. Uh, I had some other thoughts. What were they? Uh, this thoughts t- about this trailer? Yes. Okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> I got some thoughts about this government. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. You and Do me that. both, brother. Mm. Uh, we now clearly see there's two symbiotes in the jars. Yes. So that, the other one's Carnage. One of them's Carnage. Because Carnage is normally an offshoot. So you don't think that... Aren't they en- aren't they enemy symbiotes or symbiotes as well? There are, yeah. There's not yeah, much. Yeah. There was a planet of the symbiotes yes, yes. storyline at one point, so there's so many now. There's so many, mate. Ah, uh, what else? Oh yeah, how do you think he's gonna get the logo on his chest? Maybe what do you he, think it's gonna be? He might not. No, I reckon it's gonna be a white splooch. A splooch. I think it's gonna be vaguely spider-ish. Yeah, right. I think it's gonna be a white splooch and then maybe some veins coming out of it. Like a like, spider. Yeah, like a spider. I had a question. Is the tongue uh <laughs> Tom Hardy's tongue. You know, it's t- the tongue and the teeth. Yes. So they're they're liquidy yes. as well. Yes. Okay, just double Correct. checking that. Yeah. The teeth are bendy. They're bendy. That's like what I'm bananas. Saying. Like bananas. <laughs> like little bananas. Like 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 undercooked pasta. Oh, very, very good. Bendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get you. Mm-hmm. Should we move it along? Yeah, let's move it along. Okay. There was a new Star Wars animated series which has been announced. It's called Resistance, I think. That's the full title. Resistance, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and that's the, we see the tagline in the trailer. What are we all doing here? Uh, resistance, I, I think. think. And the reason it's called, oh, the reason it's called Resistance is uh, because Star Wars Rebels Ends, which yep. was kind of an origin in a, of the Rebel. Sorry. What are you doing there? I've got a, I dropped the end of my pen. Ah. I've got fiddly hands, so I need to I'm say, Yeah, to you've got to fiddle. Do you want me to get you a Rubik's Cube? No, I don't okay. like them because I'll never solve it. It'll just make me upset. <laughs> yeah, that's true. i got a fidget cube. I don't know where it is. I think my son threw it in the toilet or something. So it's still in the toilet. It's definitely in the toilet. <laughs> uh, but, so Re- Rebels was yeah was the origin of the Rebellion. Yeah. And this is, seems to be the, the lead up to the new Galactic War from the new trilogy. So it's going to be I set see. about... A handful of years beforehand, we're not exactly sure, but it's going to be based, uh, inspired by the World War II pilots, uh, like that kind of side of things. Okay. Uh, it's going to also feature new characters mainly, but voice cast also includes Oscar Isaac and Gwendolyn Qu- Qu- Christie. Oh, Gwendolyn Christie. Gwendolyn Christie. Qu- Qu- yeah. uh, as Captain Phasma. And, um, it should be called The Resistance yeah. or subtitle or... How the rebellion really dropped the ball. <laughs> I mean, they defeated the empire. Yeah, big time. How they dropped the ball. Well, it wasn't actually their fault. There's a bunch of books that kind of highlight what happens, and this is going to flesh it out more. But basically, there's a new system of government. There's a new republic. Sounds cool. And the first order are kind of this fractured, fractured, splintered group who's kind of hanging out in the outer rim and and the mm. and the unknown regions of space. Okay. And Mon Mothma says, we're going to demilitarize. Oh, it's Mothma. Yeah, it's, it's Mothma. always Mothma, isn't it? Well, it's not always Mothma. It's mostly not Mothma, but <laughs> yeah. I'm willing to lay all the blame at Mothma's feet. Because, you know, what kind of precedent are you setting? Because mm. the Empire had an army that was, oh. came up from the Republic. And then, so it's a, the First Order slowly building up their resistance. This is also in the Poe Dameron comic, because the war only really kicks off in The, Fo- the Force Awakens. There's yeah, stuff right. that happens before, but that's where it kind of really kicks off. Mm-hmm. And because did they not no, did they did they not notice that the outer rim just these dudes just putting together w- millions of people in stormtrooper outfits and building tie fighters did they miss all that apparently so okay yeah then. and recruiting and and all that because they're not really seen as the empire they've seen as like a oh it's just like a fun little thing that oh, not no. fun what but were you, you know thinking what I mean? yeah exactly you should have crushed them mercilessly yes you should have crushed them mercilessly and then 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 held your military might over their civilian population. Correct. And then... You need a big weapon that shoots a big laser. Exactly. They should have built... The Resistance should have built a big laser <laughs> satellite system. So good. Yeah. But a lot of a lot of the First Order is made up of former Imperial... Oh, I've just, dis- I've just learned... I've just realized the folly of war just then. <laughs> oh, no, I figured what? it out. You become what you hate. I didn't want to point it out to you because I feel like that's something you needed to come to by no, yourself. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, I thought re- you were going to ring me in the middle of the night <laughs> in like a week's time. James, I've just realized the folly of my ways. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Yeah, what do you think about this though? It's also going to be anime kind of inspired. Okay. Yeah. I'll watch one episode. Yeah. The yeah. other thing is this might be set in a time where Ben Solo is still with Luke Skywalker. Oh. Which could be an interesting That's dynamic. how they're going to lure yeah. us in. Yeah, so okay. we could be getting all sorts of returning characters. Because well, Mark Hamill could, you know, he does a voice. It. Yeah. Harrison Ford. He can only do the Joker voice though. That's when true. he's when he's doing voiceover. He can only do the Joker voice, so well, it's not going to be good. Actually, he re- he did a Luke Skywalker recently oh, for um, Forces of Destiny, a little cartoon where oh, he plays fun. young Luke Skywalker, but oh. he still sounds real old. Oh, cool, still a bit of fun though. That is fun, man. I can't believe Mon Mothma binks this so badly. Yeah, she Jar Jar binks it well, so she, hard. She was there for the rise of the bloody empire the last one yeah so i guess she was like well i don't want another army for but so princess leia or general leia is the one who kicks off the resistance because she's like i see where this is going yeah right so she makes this group Man. which then becomes the only thing left yeah because every, sure. all the other planets have exploded dead, yeah. <laughs> yeah man Mo- come on all i'm saying mothma just look i mean build up your army put them in nice clean white uniforms so everybody knows they're the good guys exactly yeah you know? Maybe your elite soldiers in red, so everybody knows. So they where can they stand are. out. So yeah, they can exactly. Stand out. Yeah. You know where a good, a good old fashioned leader is. I agree. You know how many? Get, just hire a bunch of British people to be in charge. British people in charge. <laughs> they know administration. <laughs> they know it. it's totally fine. Uh, the other bit of Star Wars news. Build a Darth Vader. <laughs> the other bit of Star Wars news is, uh, I thought we already knew this, but it's was widely reported this week that Alden Ehrenreich yep. has signed on for three films. I didn't know that. Uh, Unless you've told me in this podcast. I may have. Somebody mm. send Mason that clip. If you could. <laughs> but uh, we may not have talked about it. And people Or make your own clip where you're telling... Make a fake <laughs> clip where you're telling me and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll definitely remember that. You can even use this. You can Absolutely. even use what I just said. Yeah. Wait, let's get a clean one. Okay. Oh, I'll definitely remember that. I'm smart. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You watering plants? He was watering plants. Yeah, cool. No, you can't be on the podcast. This is for cool dudes only. Your, your social media reach isn't big enough. How many Twitter followers? Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Nick Maso, N-I-C-K-M-A-S-E-A-U. Hit him up on the gram. Hit me up on the gram. Uh, so, people are saying... I appreciate your kid letting me get that plug in for my Instagram. <laughs> uh, so... What was I saying? Han Solo, three films. Three films. Yeah, so I don't necessarily think this means we're going to get another Han Solo film or a Han Solo trilogy. It really mm. depends how this is, this is going to I go, I think they obviously. just work in trilogies now. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so necessarily. And you also need to remember, Mason, I'll that a remember. lot of the cast of Rogue One, mm-hmm. one of which was there when we saw Infinity War for some reason. That's which right. We'll talk about a bit. But uh, they... Did they all sign? They all signed up. Did, right, okay. And spoiler alert, most of them are dead. Yeah. And, I, and you, I think it just leaves room if... Hey, if you make a film, you know, five years down the line, and it's set in this era, you can bring back Jin Ur- Jin Urso. Yeah, you know, or if you need three a, years prior. if you need a Force Ghost or a flashback or something, we yeah. can chuck you in there. You want to put Forrest Whitaker back in a film? That's right. To save the Empire or save the Dream or whatever he was mm-hmm. up to, or to look in two directions at once. <laughs> yeah, what if he right. needs to look at a Death Star and a Star Destroyer at the same time? He definitely can do that. If only someone were here to save us and do that. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> but I'm sorry, that was mean. That was quite mean. <laughs> yeah. He's a great actor. I enjoy I was, him. I was gonna run with it, but I'm like <laughs> Yeah, no, just let, him, just let me do just let me dig dig my own grave. It's fine. Uh the other thing is, and you just watched this, there was a Han Solo featurette. Yeah. Uh for the bloody Han Solo film. Mm-hmm. Which to, we also see a bit more of his origin where he's a stormtrooper. Yeah. You know what we do see, which I feel we've never seen before, mm. is somebody Driving a speeder mm. just on a street. Yeah, right. I've never seen that. He's just cruising down a freeway well, on I guess a land we, speeder. Yeah, I mean, I guess we see it in... Um, we can see it in the prequels, but they don't look real. No, and we also saw, saw it in the original Star Wars because Luke's cruising down Tatooine way. Doesn't, nah, no, nah, I don't like it. You don't this like it? This is the first urban speeder event we've ever seen, I feel. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Don't you remember in Attack of the Clones when they're flying through the city? Yeah, but they, it looks like garbage. No, but there's a bit where... It, Anakin Skywalker jumps off and he falls like a thousand feet and Obi-Wan's like, though I hated when he does that. Yeah, and then yeah. he just grabs a passing ship oh, and he's so fine. Good. Looked so good. 
But this is the, think about it. This is the first time we've ever You're seen right, somebody is. drive a land speeder like it's a car. Like it's a car or a hot rod a in hot this rod, case. Yeah. yeah. You know what I always also thought was interesting about this? He looks like he has some kind of stormtrooper origin. Yeah. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna start with him being recruited. He's gonna it looked be... like he was wearing an Ewok outfit. Yeah, it, did. it looked like he was in they were like, okay, we're gonna disguise you as an Ewok. <laughs> um just stay a long way away so they think you're small. <laughs> on your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Shoes on your knees. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's going to start with he gets recruited and they're like, you're going to have a great adventure. You're going to be in the, in the Imperial Navy or whatever. Uh-huh. And then he's sent to Nimbin, which is that planet from that. Now, Nimbin is the place in New South Wales where you can smoke weed every day. No, it's also a Star Wars planet. Oh, you've made a mistake, Lucasfilm. <laughs> you've made a very big... The memes are coming, Lucasfilm. Correct. Or is it Nimban? I can't remember. It's irrelevant now. Remember that, remember that comic with the Caravan of Garbage did, we did about the lost Star Wars sequel? Yeah. And they go to that mud planet? Yep. And that's this planet. Oh, wow. So I think he goes there and he's like, this sucks and is bad because I'm mm. in this weird mud world. For anybody who doesn't know, Nimbin is a town, <laughs> I think in New South Wales, where everybody, like, it's it's a town themed entirely around smoking weed, which is weird that the cops don't just shut it down. I was going like, to say, because it's not legal, is it? No. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, Nimbin. Nimban. Yeah. So, also, I thought it was interesting that Finn was a stormtrooper, yes. and he was also a stormtrooper. So they got that something in common. Yeah, it's like poetry; it rhymes. Sure you know what I mean? yeah. Didn't we always know he was a stormtrooper? We knew he was Han imperial. Solo. Okay, right. But he's, i don't know. We'll mm. see. He looks more like a scout trooper. Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, that's good, Mason. Mm. He does. He looks like one of those guys who pilots a like a muddy version of a guy who pilots one of those walking things. Yes. Yeah. Very good. All right, because the scout troopers wear the mask. They. Ride the speeders. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Anything else on Star Wars? Uh, it looks, looks, uh, it looks, looks all right. It looks fun. Yeah, it does. But it did feel like all the um, all the talking points, because we, we cut from footage yeah. to the actors talking about, oh, what do you think about Han Solo? And it feels very much like, well, he's a lovable rogue, isn't he? He does what he wants, and we respect that. So he's also got a he does all goal. sorts of plans you don't think are going to work, but then they do work. It's, it feels very... It sounds like they're, they're, like they, someone you call for a job interview. You call their references. Yeah, right. What's he like? He's got some crazy ideas, but they mm. always work out. But he's, all, he's very punctual, isn't he? He's never been stabbed on a gantry. I yeah. can say that for a fact. <laughs> That's right. I can't speak for his future. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, what do we got here? S.J. Clarkson has been hired as the first female director Never heard to of direct her. a Star Trek film. Ooh. Which means the Quentin Tarantino one isn't happening at this point. Okay. Which, yeah, it's fine. Did can... anyone ever really think that was going to happen? I thought there was an offer. I thought there was a chance, yeah. Okay. Uh, she's, the, she's mostly done TV stuff. Uh-huh. Or all done, uh, she's British, so she's done a bunch of... Think of a British thing. She's probably done that. Heart probably date. Done. Yep. Marmite hey. ads. <laughs> Toffee. Um, an ad for that uh, Bovril an ad for Bovril she's probably directed an ad for Bovril what is Bovril, Bovril? is it like, like a brown mix yeah, it's like a hot meat drink <laughs> yeah I know yeah. it's like a, like a do you want to do you want a breakfast drink that's just hot meat no it's like gravy but you drink it out of a glass <laughs> anyway she's directed that there'd be so much weird residue on the glass yeah and it'd never come out <laughs> you'd, be, you'd, you'd wash the glass and then you'd be like well time for a cup of coffee oh meat coffee <laughs> Uh, so she's also worked on, she directed an episode of The Defenders, Jessica Jones, and Orange is the New Black. Ooh. So she's got some good stuff behind her. Uh, yeah, she seems like a solid choice. Okay. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll just see how this bloody goes, Mason. It'll be interesting because it'll come in like, it, it's she's going to be put into the Star Wars machine. Yes. Like this isn't Star like, Trek machine. Star Trek machine, I'm sorry. Yeah. She's, uh, see, that. well, that's the thing. I would say Star Wars, like it'll be... That that would, you know you know how like in Hollywood if a guy makes a movie that's bad yeah. and it doesn't do well yeah. they're like yeah give him another movie yeah whereas if a woman makes a movie that's bad they're like she's gone forever kind of thing <laughs> it'd be it's interesting to put someone into like a franchise or a big yeah yeah right a big system and go okay here's an established universe an established continuity let's give it to a female director and now we'll see. Like, yeah. how are they going to react if it does well or poorly? That's, that's a good that's question. Kind of fascinating to know. Well, I think it's a di- it's a different era now. Mm-hmm. So as we're seeing, you know, like the director of the new the new gods film is female. Yep. There's Wonder Woman, obviously. Wonder Woman's female. Yeah. So I think we're, I think we're going to see. I say some change. obviously, but I only just remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> but you said it with such confidence, Mason. Mm. Bovril is the trademark name of a thick and salty meat extract paste similar to a yeast e- extract. 
None of that sounds pleasant, does it? That sounds very much It's a much thick like... and salty meat extract paste, yeah. similar to a yeast extract, extract. Vegemite is pretty much that, though. But you don't drink Vegemite. But that's not the first result. The first result is a dictionary result. Dictionary, Bovril, noun, trademark, a concentrated essence of beef diluted with hot water to make a drink. Like a broth? Use it in a sentence. Could she bring her Bovril up and drink it while having a chat? <laughs> Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And now we'll never speak of Bovril ever again. Disagree. Yeah, we'll probably mention it next week. We should have Meso's Bovril Bovril Corner. I I find fun facts about Bovril. (laughs) I've never had Bovril. Maybe it's delicious. I love gravy. You do love gravy. I would drink gravy by itself if people let me. This would be more popular if it was good. Yeah, that's a good point. Don't you think? Australia would have Bovril. Yeah. Because, mm. Mason, as someone who's travelled, I've been to the UK, oh, and I, no. nobody's ever offered me a hot cup of Bovril. Bovril. <laughs> Maybe it's like the... Oh, yeah, no, that, that's true. Like, if it were more popular, it would either... We'd either have it, or it would be used as a joke yeah, on tourists. Exactly. Like, be- like Vegemite for us, where we're like, hey, try some Vegemite. Spread it on as thick as you like. <laughs> What if you had a bovril and chips and hot chips? Yeah, okay. Do you think that would work? Yeah. We should get some bovril on the pod. Let's do a bovril pod. I wouldn't mind. Bovcast. All right, let's try some bovril live on the podcast. Okay, I'll order week. some bovril. Okay. Actually, can you order some bovril? I'll order some bovril. And then we'll do some bovril. You can probably get it at the weird British section of the supermarket. That I'll section check. that nobody goes to. Yeah, I'll check. Good. I'll check today. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we also got an image from Glass. Which is the sequel to Unbreakable and Split. Mm -hmm. It's the Shyamalan universe coming together. Finally, his comic book vision that he definitely envisioned from the very get go. Day one. Uh, That he he made one and then he waited 15 years and then he made another one Mm. and then next year he made another one again. You know, that old old cinematic universe. Playing the long game. (laughs) Playing the long game. I respect it. He knew this was going to happen. He absolutely did. He knew there was going to be a superhero movie explosion. Correct. Did he? Maybe he did, though. No, he didn't. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> alright then I mean good on him though yeah because I quite like Split I mean he kind of and, and he, right? yeah he predated most of, he predated the majority of the superhero boom correct with, with the Unbreakable so. and you love Unbreakable I love Unbreakable and Elevator and <laughs> Devil um, in a Lift yeah Devil in a Lift <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so the image that was released it's, it was taken on a phone in a thing was it Samuel L. Jackson in a, in a purple shiny Trench coat, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shirtless James McAvoy, covered in veins, and Bruce Willis in a rain hoodie. Nice. <laughs> in a green rain hoodie. Uh, has this got you excited for this universe, Mason? I kind of would like to see what they're doing with yeah, it. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know if the I don't know if the outcome is going to be good. I don't know if the execution is going to be good. Wow. But I would like to see where this, like, what has happened to this universe in the last what decade and yeah, a half? Yeah, right. Yeah. Can Bruce Willis do it? Can he pretend like he's not bored out of his mind? No. <laughs> Maybe. Does he? Every en- now and then he does. Yeah, I mean, he, I imagine he enjoys working with Samuel L. Jackson. We all do. They probably meet up every decade and hang out. That's cool. I was going to say, they don't probably catch up that much. But yeah, every decade. Every I'd, decade. I'd buy that. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm interested to see where this goes, but we will see. This mm. is another thing I'm interested to see where it goes, Mason. I'm ready. Uh, we've got a synopsis for the new Predator film directed by Shane Black. Oh, yes. Uh, Predator will tackle the idea of genetic mutation of predators, right? Yeah, because they're to adding be, to their own DNA that's or something. The, that's, the, that's the thing these days. You've got a Jurassic World. Mm-hmm. You've got to add, you got to throw in some you've DNA. You've got a rampage. You've got to throw, throw in, in some, DNA. You've you got, got to throw an, in CRISPR. An, yeah, annihilation. Throw in some bloody DNA in a weird mm-hmm. bubble or whatever. Yep. So, okay, here we go. From the outer reaches of space to a small town street, to the small town streets of suburbia, the hunt comes home in Shane's Black's Blah, blah, blah. Now the universe's <laughs> most lethal hunters are stronger, smarter, and deadlier than ever before, having genetically upgraded themselves with DNA from other species. When a young boy accidentally triggers their return to Earth, good one, idiot, yeah. only a ragtag crew of soldiers and a disgruntled science teacher can prevent the end of the human race. Ah, oh. Sounds fun, man. Apparently, is it Gary Busey's son is going to be in this? Oh, he is. Jake Busey. Yeah. And he's the son of the guy from Predator 2. Is he the disgruntled science teacher? I hope so. No, he wouldn't be. He'd be like a crazy CIA guy. Did Gary Busey die in the Predator 2? There's did no he, way he didn't die. Did he die in that weird... He would have died in the weird cold warehouse, yeah. Plant or whatever? Oh, my God. Jake Busey looks exactly like... Because I only remember I Jake said. Busey from The Frighteners, which yeah. is a Peter Jackson film, which is quite good. And... Yeah, he looks just like him. And That's he's also amazing. in Starship Troopers. He could No, he is a disgruntled science teacher. No, I don't think he'll... I think he'll be 
CIA man. No, I think he's gone in a different direction. I think this his, this is my hit prediction. Hit prediction. I reckon that he get ready for a hit predict, everybody. Because he's he's wanted to stay out of that. He's wanted to stay out of that that world because his dad was killed. No, I think because his dad's a predator. dummy. He's going to be a dummy too. Oh, okay, cool. All yeah. Right. All right. But you, you might be right, Mason. Yeah. But also, I mean, the, the same. If your dad was killed by predators, you'd probably want to join the CIA and track down predators. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or be a science teacher. Yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're saying. Do we know any other cast members? Who who else in the cast uh, could be? A Key or Peel is in it. Oh, he could be a disgruntled science teacher. Definitely. Key or Peel. Yeah, 2018 cast. That's I think look. Key more than Peel. Uh, Boyd Holbrook, who was the villain from Logan. Yep. Uh, Olivia Munn. Okay, she uh, could be disgruntled. Travante Rhodes. Uh, it's Keegan Michael Key. Uh, Sterling K. Brown. He's great. Oh, Thomas Jane. Oh, this is a good cast. Alfie Allen, who plays... Um, Lily Allen's Reed. brother. Yeah, that's right. She, he plays Lily Allen's brother. Correct. Uh, Yvonne Strethofsky, who's oh. been in a bunch of stuff. Babylon... No, wait, not Babylon 5. Bloody Battlestar. I Correct. Think. Edward James Olmos. Mm, uh, also Battlestar. Yeah, and some other... Oh, good... there's going to be a Battlestar corner it Looks like Battle... on the set. Oh, and Jacob Tremblay, the kid from... I'm stuck in a room with Brie Larson. What's real? You seen that one? No, but it sounds good. It's a good you've film. Sold it to, you've sold it to me on that alone. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I was so, thinking of Brie Larson. Yeah. Do you want to hold on to that thought? <laughs> no, yeah, we'll hold on to it. Yeah. No, oh no, because do you want to do the news now for that? Because yeah. I was going to lead that into Affinity War. Oh, we can let's do it. Do it. We can no, do it now. Whatever you want, man. Okay. All right, let's do it now. Okay. Okay. Anyway, what do I think about Predators? Sounds good. Okay, good. I don't care what the plot is. Just have Predators fighting people. Yeah. No, no, that's that's a mistake in yeah. a Predator film. You've made a mistake there, Mason. What is that? There has to be more of it. There has to be a, a twist on on something. You need interesting characters. You can't just have Predators fight people. Disgruntled science teacher. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm saying... Do you think they'll use science at some point to trap a Predator? No. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think probably. they will. Yeah, they will. <laughs> I think I think one of those Predators is going to get a beaker full of acid at some point to yeah, the face. right in the face. But what, it also said genetic mutations. What do you think is going to come off them? Tendrils. Tendrils. Uh, squid arms dog yeah. feet do you think we're gonna get one do, we, do you think we're gonna get like five like cool individual predators like one will have tendrils and there'll there be are. a really big one and there'll be a really little one <laughs> maybe yeah and a dog one and a dog one yeah. I want one that has dog legs on its back so if it gets full, f- falls over it Flip can run away back up again. Yeah. or oh, just oh, run away yeah yeah cool nice <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, just skitter away. That's what I'd do if yeah. I had to pick something that I could enhance myself with. Dog legs, dog legs on, the, on back. the back. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah. Now th- let's do a Captain Marvel close t- closer to the other yeah, thing. Cool. Okay, there's a Watchmen casting call for the Watchmen TV series. Are you Ooh, ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Here, there's the cast list that they want. Uh, Angela Abraham, African American female cop, independent, and intelligent. She's also a realist. She's married to Cal, who she has a daughter with and is fiercely protective. Second character, Cal Abram, African-American male, who is a stay-at-home husband of Angela. While he seems as, uh, ho- at home as king of the castle and, and a husband and father, it's clear that his past has a different story to tell. Ooh, la, la. Character number three, Looking Glass, a good-looking cop. The native Oklahoman isn't simple as his rural accent ma- makes him appear to be. A top interrogator and behavioral scientist. He also might be a bit of a sociopath. Panda. Just a panda, no. And a, <laughs> an ethnic desk cop. He's cynical and tough, but puts his job first. Not a friend of many. He uses comedy to keep people at bay. Don't we all, mate? Don't we all? Fuck you! Oh, what? Red scare. Uh, tracksuit wearing cop. His Russian accent leads him to abrasiveness. Pirate Jenny. An, ando- <laughs> an and- androgynous and lustful bisexual cop. Hello. Jenny is an anarchist at heart. Jane Crawford, the wife of police officer Judd. Jane is a veter- Joan Crawford, actress. <laughs> Jane is a veterinarian who is sharper than her guarded persona lets on. Are these people all superheroes? And the last one is Old Man, a former cop, uh, still an imposing figure despite his age. Man, I That's can't the wait cast to- for the new Watchmen series. I can't wait to see this veterinarian subplot. <laughs> <laughs> look. Someone's I- got dog legs on the I back. I was going to say, I did. look, we can't save your dog, but we can <laughs> amputate its legs and put them on your back. <laughs> I mean, this is the 80s, so science is not... Advanced to the point where you can run on them, but no, you can just have floppy old dead dog legs <laughs> on your back. So this is clearly they've said before it's not a direct adaptation. Yeah, do you think this is just going to be set within the world of Watchmen, but kind of only really slightly linked to what's going on in the comics? I hope not. But at the same time, Should, I I feel like all of those people are on 
the cusp of becoming superheroes, right? Yes. Do you think or this, they be... could, this could also be fake. This could be fake yeah, right. uh, descriptions for actual Watchmen characters. That's true. But they're probably not. Mm. They're all Oklahoma cops, it would seem. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Watchmen's not even set in Oklahoma. <laughs> no, this, no, it is. Okay, cool. Great. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I mean... Are you sure this isn't the cast list for a remake of the musical Oklahoma? Hang on a sec. Ugh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you put your foot in it again, all right? <laughs> Which of them was there a bisexual, lustful? Yeah, there's a lustful cop? bisexual pirate of some was there sort. A, was there a Russian wearing the tracks and trackies? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. You wouldn't call a character Red Scare and then not have him be a, a superhero or villain at no. some point. You wouldn't call a character an old man without making them a superhero either. That's very true. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. It, it's Damon Lindelof who did uh, Lost. Leftovers. Yeah, Lost. Yeah, <laughs> but he also did Leftovers, which is great. So. Benefit of the doubt, Mason. All right, cool. And if you don't like it, hmm. you can bloody well lump it. I think some people of the lost era have learned their lessons about just creating mystery box after mystery box. Some and people some have, have not. <laughs> not. Some have definitely not. Yeah. Do you want to name names? J.J. Abrams is okay. not. Who else is not? Damon Lindelof? Ah, uh, remains to be seen. Yes. Did The Leftovers wrap things up? I didn't finish yeah, it. Yeah, it did. It's really good. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, you'll love this, Mason. Do Will love, I? Do you love the Fast and Furious universe? Kind of. Because things are about to get more fast and a little bit more animated. Ooh. Uh, there's going to be an animated Netflix series that centers on Tony Toretto, a teenager following in the footsteps of his egg in a vest wearing uncle, Vin <laughs> Diesel. Nice. It's weird they put that in. Tony yeah. and his friends are recruited by a government agency to infiltrate an elite racing league. Oh, that serving sounds as, bad. Serving as it a sounds sludge bad. For a notor- notorious I'm getting James, I'm crime getting, organization bent on more domination. I'm getting James Bond Jr. vibes <laughs> That's from this. That's exactly what I was oh, thinking. no. I mean, it's a kid's show. Yeah, And it's still. set in the Fast and furious Yeah, Vin Diesel will probably show up and be like, bah, 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 bah. Oh, he'll, Cuban Noss. He, nah, nah. he would love to be in that. He would definitely he would do love it. to. He probably, you know, what probably happens? It's mm. probably one of those. I hope this is what gonna. It's gonna happen. This what, is what's gonna happen. Everyone. What's gonna happen is at the end of every episode, Tony Toretto, the, the the show ends, and then Tony Toretto hangs out with his uncle Dom Toretto yes. in the, in the garage, and then they talk about road safety. Oh, please. And they we all learn a lesson. It's gonna be very Inspector Gadget, GI Joe. Where at the end we learn a valuable lesson or, or a hint or a trick. So after you sort. see like a teenager like drift through a gang member and tear his legs off yep. and then it's like you know drifting is not all that's, it's cracked that's not, up to be exactly that's right next week on Fast yeah. and Furious yeah ah bang 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 <laughs> exactly <laughs> you know I love to drift but I couldn't drift without the calculations from geometry <laughs> so learn your geometry kids uh, also learn how to handbrake turn please just you ever just, done a handbrake turn no I've been in the car for one when it was happening. It was not good. <laughs> I don't recommend it. No, any any handbrake turn you can leave from alive is a good handbrake turn, in my opinion. Yeah, well, this wasn't even a scenario where a handbrake, handbrake turn was required. Oh, I see. Somebody went, hey, watch this, and then did a handbrake turn in the middle of the road. Great. Two out of ten. Don't yeah, do it. That could have very easily ended with a flipped car. It felt like the car was going to flip. Yeah. Yeah. If I'd have been maybe a couple of kg heavier, Mason, that mm-hmm. car would have flipped. All right, what do we got here? Uh, last bit of news. Young Nick Fury has been, spo- has been spotted on location for the Captain Marvel film. Yeah. And you might not recognize him. Two because- eyes and a fro. Two eyes and a fro. Well, it's not a fro. He's just it's- got hair. And it's a pseudo. It's a-, it's a fro on the way. I don't think it's a fro on the way. All right. I think it's quite cropped. All right. Yeah. Cropped fro. Cropped fro. He looks good. I haven't seen Samuel L. Jackson with hair since he had that weird wig and jumper. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm sure he's probably had other... Hair in between, but what about? Did he have hair in the hateful eight? He may have had hair I in think the he hateful had, eight. He might have had wild hair. In he the did, eight. but he also had he also had a hat on for a lot of it. Yeah, so that's why yeah, I'm not remembering. Yeah, uh, they did a good job job of making Samuel L. Jackson look young. I mean, he looks young anyway. Uh, yeah, but doesn't he? He looks way younger. Also, that photo is kind of it's from a distance. Of, it's from a distance, but I mean, yeah, he. He looks young. He looks he good. He looks young. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So we'll talk more about Captain Marvel when we get into Infinity War. But uh, they've all, Kevin Feige also said that Moon Knight is on the horizon. And he said, does that mean five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now? Who knows? It's like up in the air. And he's also keen to get a Nova film going as well. Great. Apparently Nova was going to be included in the first Guardians. Mm. Do you want like Kid Nova? No, I want classic Nova. And then? More classic Nova. And then? A Chevy Nova. And then? A gift, gift wrapped with a bow outside my house. And then? Ooh, a Chevy Nova. And then? 
Um, the Nova, the, the station, the radio station? Oh, Nova 100, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. never yeah. more than two ads in a row, Mason. Wow, good for them. I think they changed that. Oh, yeah, there's heaps of ads now. There's so many ads. It's all ads now. It's mostly ads. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think about that, though? Nova Paris Kneebone. Very Famous good. sportsman. Yeah. Woman. Yep. Person. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's all I have. That's all the numbers I have. I don't, I don't know anymore. No, I don't know either. Nova, but the frequency is different because it's in a different state. Different state, yep. There we go. Yep. We got there. Yeah. And then Kid Nova. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Nova Ember Rain. Yes. Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Very <song>. good. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, anything else or should we just get into bloody... Let's get into it. This ad spot. Let's get into the ad spot. Got him. <laughs> Tricked you. Actually, I like this ad spot because I like this product. They're one of our faves. One of our faves. You're doubling up on them right now, I think. Two in a row, baby. Wow. <laughs> Look at my kid. What's wow. he up to? I don't know. Hi, buddy. He's wearing, he's wearing, a, he's wearing a singlet hey, and jeans. He looks like a little Vin Diesel running about. Yeah, I know. He yeah. said, hey, Meso. Did you hear that? Yeah. He, yeah. he talks <laughs> about you a lot. It's weird, right? Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? I'm a mystery. You, yeah, he doesn't Why know. do I show up once a week? He just wants to. He wants to access your gram. That's what he wants. Yeah, that's, he wants the, the gram yeah. coke you keep on you at all times. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mac Weldon Mason. The reason I like them is because they believe in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Because mm-hmm. their website is very clear to use. So easy. So easy to Clickety use. Clickety click. That's what I like. And all their products. Do are it on ma- your phone. That's right. Click clack 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 clack. Yeah. Uh, all their products are also naturally antimicrobial, which means they eliminate odor. Which and is one hundred percent true. You've been in those for days. I, I may have been wearing this. This is, might be the third day. Great. I'm wearing this t-shirt, and I'm still. And I wasn't repelled by your stench when no, I came in. There was not, no stench. Not like normal life. Mm. Uh, also, what, what 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 do they make? What do you like? They like the I like the teas. Me I love too. I love a pocket tea. Pocket yeah. teas are good. This is a pocket. I'm a tea. big fan. I can see it. I can yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah. I'm jelly. I'm the the teas are my favorite. But also, you know, this is true. Whenever I, because I've got a bunch of underwear, whenever I have to wear well, different... All right, we get it. You're doing really well. You've got a bunch of underwear. I'm a, I'm a bit of a big deal in the underwear department, in the pants department, under my pants. Though in England, they call pants underpants. Underpants, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I've made that mistake because yeah. I've traveled. But uh, <laughs> whenever I have to Not put even up... our precious ads are safe <laughs> from James. <laughs> Whenever I'm about his traveling, I have to put on that. Our precious ads. A, a pair of underwear that's not Mac Weldon because they're in the wash. I'm like, God damn yeah, it. Right. There is genuinely that moment. Mm. And also, they last way longer. Yeah. Other brands of underwear that I've got, you know, like good brands, Allegedly. They, get, they get, they like get torn at the waist. You know, the waist well, quality's gone and, down. There's a very famous yeah. Australian brand. It's like, we're Australia's own. And it's like, you, you just, you, you move production to bloody somewhere else. Yeah. And you and kept the prices sucks. the same. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Not naming any, na- any names. No. But Mack Weldon, though, they're great. Very nice. Also, very it, nice colors, always good colors. Yeah, definitely. And a rolling assortment. And a, lo- a lot of people uh, in the US is going into summer. Perfect for a summer day. Yeah. Would you agree? Also, a lot of people have said, uh, you guys are in Australia, how do you get Mack Weldon? Yeah. Uh, they send it to a special, but in the very near future, yeah, they're, they're opening, opening up, up to Australia international. and, and internationally, and, yeah. Uh, uh, Europe and such. So yeah. get fired up because they're real good. I don't That's think right. you'll go back. No. Hmm. I mean, you certainly won't. I won't. No. Definitely won't either. Now, also, you can buy your first pair, and if you're not happy with it, you can send it back. So not send it back. You can get a refund and then keep it. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's the Mac Weldon I mean, Weldon you could guarantee. send it back, but they'll, they don't want it. They don't want it back. Yeah, yeah. And not only does Mac Weldon, though, they do underwear, socks, and shirts that look good. They perform well, too. They're good for working out, going to work, going on dates, just everyday life. And I can confirm I have done it. With all of those things. You've never gone on a date, Lou Yeah, with Macla. Claire, we do a Doesn't date night. Count. What do you mean? Doesn't count. So I have to have a date independently of my wife. Yes, <laughs> okay, correct. Okay, fine. Yeah. It can be a friend date. No, no that doesn't count either. Mm. That's less of a date. All right. Friend date. Get out of here, Mason. All right, fine. Your friend date. All right. Would you call it a friend date? No. Hey, we're going on a friend date. I'm going on a friend date with, friend date. with Carl Chandler. That's you, Mason. Yeah, maybe I would. Yeah, good. Yeah. So if you go to MacWeldon.com, though, and use the promo code PLANET, you get 20% off. Very nice. That's a lot. Yeah. And it's also, it lasts for ages. I love, I love hitting that promo code yeah. any time and getting that. Me too. Neg- the minus and then a big number. I, know, I love right? it. So mm. that's MacWeldon.com, 20% off with promo code PLANET. If you're international, if you're in Australia or international, just look at that. Just fill up that card. Yeah, go on. Be ready. Look. It's yeah. good stuff. Get it bloody get going. It, get excited. All right. Inven- Avengers Infinity War has blasted its way into cinemas the world over. You can never stop <laughs> the Marvel juggernaut. It's going, it's going east to west. It's, uh, it's up and down. Wherever you look, Mason, like it'll the sun. find you. Yeah. Wow. Is that where the sun goes? East to west, yeah. East to west. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What does that mean? It rises in the east, sets in the west. My understanding is it goes up and then it goes straight back down again. 
Oh, there's a bit of that, yeah. Because it's like a basketball. It's like a basketball, that's true, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. 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 Good, all right. So... (laughs) <laughs> it's um the sun god apollo yep. throws the sun yep. over the earth good good and then it comes back down and he catches it at the end very good sometimes you think he's not going to nail it but he nails it every is he, time is he always caught it yeah what happens if he drops it does the sun break yeah and then his mum's going to yell at him so because <laughs> his mum's not buying him another sun no I'll tell you what it's expensive and big mm-hmm. uh the numbers are still coming in on the box office weekend but it seems as if this is the biggest o- opening of a film ever Wow. So it's beaten The Force Awakens at 250 million US uh, in the, domestically. In, uh-huh. If you live in the US, and that's domestic for you. So that's 3 million more than The Force Awakens. And it's 630 million uh, worldwide. Wow. Which is massive. Do you think this trend, do you think this is going to be sustainable? Well, that's, I was actually going to ask you that. Yeah. Are you asking me that though? <laughs> we're ba- asking each other at the same time. We're in a we're in a standoff okay. of asking each other. I don't think it is because I'm surprised it actually hit these numbers because it's so long. Yeah. So you have to. Get, I mean, it it opened a little bit earlier in a bunch of places. Here's the thing: I think it's long, and I think it's inaccessible if you've never seen one of these movies. Exactly. Before. Like yeah. we we talked about this it's last nonsense. Last, if you've never we're talking, seen it. If, if you missed it last week, we last week we talked about all the previous Marvel movies in. More or less detail, depending on how yeah. interested we were in them. But like, and we were like, okay, what what is essential mm. to watch going into you know the the next phase or each phase, and what's essential going into Infinity War? If you hadn't seen any of the Phase One Marvel movies and you just saw Avengers from context, you can pretty much pick up who everybody is, yeah, and what their deal is, and who's friends with who, and what their relationships are like. And and I guess that's partly a function of it, it's a it's a well constructed movie, and also there are far fewer characters than there are now. Mm. This Infinity War has like seventy eight characters or something yeah, like that. Absolutely. And if you don't know that, they are not holding your hand with this. No. If you don't know who's who. Yeah. And you know what? I think that's a strength and also a weakness. Yeah. But, but someone who's the fan of the series, I I appreciated that. I was like, I don't need a recap on who everybody is. It's like with a TV. I think they're treating this more like a TV show, and they're not dumbing it down for people who. Who have been following this entire time? Yeah, right. Like I don't want this is Captain America was frozen in yeah. ice and whatever every time. It I like that it just went. Yeah, you know what? Keep up. I think so too. Like, yeah. I I I can co- completely understand people going into this and going, well, it makes no sense, and it's just yeah. set up to whatever. It wouldn't make sense. No, but yeah, yeah. But, but at the same time, I feel like this is kind of a reward for people who. Yes, I think there's a lot of good. Like as someone who, look, I'm more than happy to, to see a movie and go. Even if it's a franchise I like or whatever and go, I didn't like this. I didn't think it worked or whatever. Yeah. But I think this is a good reward for people who've stuck out and watched all these films. And I think there's a lot of payoff in it. Yes. And it's... A lot of Easter eggs. A lot of explosions. I did an Easter egg video. Please check it out below, Mason. I will. It's thorough AF. You're not going to believe the stuff that I found. Yeah, right. But uh, no, I completely agree. We're going to do non-spoilers. Yes. Uh, and then spoilers. That being mm-hmm. said, if you haven't seen it yeah. and you don't want to know anything, don't. Listen, listen to, to any this, of this because we'll accidentally spoil something for sure yeah also we've got a couple of letters about it at the end so maybe skip yeah, right, a letter okay. segment so maybe just come back to this if you yeah, right. if you haven't seen uh-huh. it as of yet I, would, I mean if you if you don't mind knowing a little bit yeah, then obviously sure. hang around oh but what I was going to say mm. is that I don't think maybe second weekend of this movie or third or whatever yeah. I think box office returns could I mean I'm almost certainly wrong but like I think they could drop off quite significantly I agree when word gets around that like if you don't know these characters back, back to front yeah this is not going to make Absolutely. any sense. And also, next week is Deadpool 2. Yeah, And then right. a couple of weeks after that, it's Deadpool Solo. 3. Deadpool okay. 3, correct. Mm-hmm. So, like, this will easily hit a billion, probably a billion and a half, yeah, right. let's say, worldwide. But, yeah, I, I, I absolutely agree with that. The other thing I think, which is, I, I think it's also a smart play to make it like this because it forces, it, I think it gets more people more invested in the universe because you have to know what's going on to understand it. Yeah, right. So, the fans that you're getting on board go back and then also anticipate what's going on forward. It's like a TV show, like Game of Thrones. You just have to keep up. Yeah, for sure. So instead of being, this one is accessible to everybody, not every episode of every TV show is accessible to everybody. That's true. And I think that model is an interesting way to tackle this. Yeah. Yeah. And I think for a lot of, a lot of people who are maybe, a lot of people will probably hear, okay, I used, you know, they might be like, well, I saw a couple of these movies and I like them. Mm. And now if I want to, if, if I hear that if I want this to make sense, I have to watch some more. They'll have to go back and go to like iTunes or, yeah. or Google Play or whatever and, and buy or rent a whole bunch yeah. of them. And I mean, I also, you, you'll get people who will just drop off and go, not for me. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I think 
more than likely you'll, you'll get a bunch of people like yeah. that. So I would say if, if I was to change the essential list, this really acts as a sequel to Guardians of the Galaxy, a lot of Thor Ragnarok, yep. mm-hmm. um, Civil War, yep. and more Doctor Strange than you'd think. Yeah, right. <laughs> which, which I enjoyed. Yeah. That was, it, this is a very Doctor Strange heavy movie. And he's, and he's, do, he's doing more he's magic doing stuff. He's doing so much good stuff. He's doing magic. Yeah. He's doing proper magic. Bit of a bloody standout for me, yeah, right. this character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I enjoyed the, the interplay between him and Tony Stark. Yep. Like, that's a good dynamic. Yep. They're not the same height either. You know, you no, no, Cumberbatch is way taller. <laughs> yeah. Cumberbatch is way taller and and Robert Downey Jr. is clearly wearing lifts. Yeah, or so. standing on a little box. Uh-huh. We're just fine, whatever. Uh, but no, so... Because when you see him, like, when you see Tony Stark standing anywhere, mm. he's got these big boot legs. Mm. He's got these big bootleg pants. Exactly. Because you've got to put the lifts in him. The, the, what, the amazing thing about this is though, it brings together, like, 10 years of storytelling and the visions of multiple directors and you're bringing back actors from, like, from 10 years prior and it just makes me go... What do you think the story was? Ah, he's not going to kill me! I thought you were going to miss it. I thought you were going to skip it again. And not then... this time, Mason. Oh, all right, hang on. I got right. my Avengers Infinity War lanyard. Oh, mine's in the car. I forgot it. Ready to go. Very you know what nice. I don't like about this lanyard? It's not laminated. Okay, wow. So, you're so picky. Mason, if you're going to give me a laminated, make it a collector's item. Mm. Horseshit. Wow. The lanyard doesn't reflect the film, unfortunately. You can laminate it yourself. Yeah. Mm. If I had to pick a lanyard... Top one lanyard, Justice League. Of Number course. two, this, because it's also got a little a little A on it, a yeah. little foam A. Mm-hmm. Number three, Ready Player One. Yeah, for sure. Number four, the yeah. lanyards that people gave to us at oh, our live like show, show. Yeah. which is really good. You know what? That can be number one. That that's, a, num- that's a yeah. gift. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, and they were laminated. And they were laminated. Yeah, good. Anyway, so... Oh, it's story else. All right, okay. So this is a guy mm. called Thanos. Yes. And he's a, he's a bit mad. Yeah. And he wants to get... Mad angry or crazy mad? Both. Yeah. He's less he's less angry mad though, isn't he? Yeah. He seems quite hey, measured. He can, seems quite measured a lot of the time. Your kid? No, uh, definitely not. Thanos. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, but he's crazy mad. Yeah. And uh, he wants to get all the Infinity Stones. Why? Because he can use them to smash stuff. Yes. He can use them to shoot a ray. He can shoot a ray. Mm. He can alter but reality. But if he gets all six, he can maybe shoot the biggest ray. Yeah. Mm. Beat a Ray Bill. Beat a Ray Shoot him right in the head. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then he, but he destroyed the universe, but the other people standing his way, the Avengers. Well, he doesn't want to... Guys des- of the galaxy. This is in the trailers as well. Like, he doesn't want to destroy the universe. Yeah. He wants to destroy half, half of the, the universe. universe. Half the population Should of the we universe. just get into that in more spoilers? Though, yeah, we'll talk about it in spoilers, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Did you like it? Yes. You've seen it twice? I've seen it twice. It's... it's Because I saw it twice as well. All oh, right. It's a, it's a bloody... It's a slog seeing it a second time. Is it? I didn't feel no, like No, no, not in a bad way, as in there's a lot going on yeah, and right. I feel like I won't revisit this for a while because uh-huh. it's by the end uh, often of like part one of two I feel like oh, I could definitely watch another one of these straight away You're for right. this I'm like yeah I'll take a year right, just, okay, to, yeah. just to kind of let this sink in and you know we'll have a fun little Ant-Man movie and then we'll have Captain Marvel yeah, and then we'll come true. back to this mm-hmm. yeah I think that's yeah, I, I I would say it's not like oh I'll just pop this on and is that all we're getting in between here and Avengers 4? yep just the two movies. Just two. Ant Man in like two months, and then Captain Marvel in March. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Right before. Wow. A bit of a again. drought. Yeah, I know. God, mm. we'll have to we'll have to do do with Deadpool and X Men movies. Oh man. Ugh. But I don't think that's a I don't think that's an accident. I think they're gonna they they want to leave this gap so yeah, people kind sure. of. This is a real Empire Strikes Back gap. It's exactly like that. Empire yeah. Strikes Gap. Empire. Well, but that was three years. Well, it's not. We don't have to do that anymore. That no, that's yeah, true. Which is what a nightmare that would be. Well. I mean, it's it's technically part one of two. Yes. We don't know what the fourth, fourth part is called. Do you feel that this movie stands on its own and do you think the nature of its ending impacts the film or might it, or, or will the second one also change your perspective of this one? Uh, I think that... I think this one definitely stands on its own. Yeah. Yeah. If you've seen everything before. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a completely independent film, provided you've seen the prior 18 movies. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, so you think... So you didn't feel like, oh, I've been... Like, this ending kind of robbed me of a proper finale and... No, no, no. Like that. no. Yeah. But again, I went into this being 99% sure that this was going to end on a cliffhanger yeah, of some right, sort. Yeah, right, yeah. And did it? Yes. All right. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah. There's also... And this is smart. There's very f- few new cast members in this. Yes. There's, we can't really talk about the new ones, can we? Because 
No, not really. The, the, there's the little uh, one of them I didn't really care for at all. Mm-hmm. The acting of it seemed a bit like, what's this about? Uh-huh. But I, it's all it's all existing characters. And what I thought worked really well in this was that the team ups between people you'd never really seen before. Yeah, for like sure. Like Tony Stark, Doctor Strange, Tony Stark and the Guardians. Yep, I really enjoyed because he's just. There's a moment where they're having. There's a clip of this online where they're having an argument about what to do when Thanos arrives, and there's just a moment where he just takes a pause, where he's just like, and there's just like yeah, you right. can just see it in his eyes, yeah. and he's like, I can't because they have deal with this. the Avengers and the Guardians. When you think about it, have wildly differing yeah. methodologies for 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 fighting and levels of intelligence. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, they're not really a spoiler, but at one point somebody says, "Tell them about the dance off to save the universe." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So the stuff like like. Because you can just say it, it just looks like he's the mo- the most important, like the most terrible man in the universe is coming, and this is what I've got. Yeah, <laughs> you right, know, exactly. to deal yeah, with to deal sure. with this. Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, what else have I got to say? Yeah. So, what are, were there any other team ups that you liked in particular? Ah, uh, let me think. Well, see, I can't. We can't really get into them without yeah. spoiling my feel. There's right. a couple of yeah. Okay. Well, let's let, let's come back to that. Yeah. Let's come back to that then. What about say visually the way it looks? Terrific. We, we saw it on IMAX. Yeah, we did. Which yeah. would you say go out of your way to see it on IMAX? Look, I also the second time I saw it at a regular cinema, yeah, but same. I was cl- quite close. to Yeah, the screen, I didn't feel. I think too, it was fine. I yeah. didn't feel robbed the second time around. But it was a good way to experience the, yeah, the sure. first time. Mm-hmm. Do you get that moment at the start of IMAX when all the numbers are counting down, and for a second you feel like you're going to fall into the screen? Is that just me? Yeah, no, you're right. You're absolutely <laughs> <Thank> right. <laughs> just had a terrible flashback to it just now. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. In terms of yeah, I think the way it. It's just very grand in scale and yep. budget. Yeah. And there's not real... I feel like there was less... And there's obviously a lot of CGI, but there's it feels less kind of green screeny as some Marvel yeah, films right. can in the past. Uh-huh, yeah. There's probably a bit... There's a bit uh, like stuff with Thor when he's maybe flying about, which might look a bit like, oh, that's a CGI uh-huh, man yeah. or whatever. But uh-huh. on the whole... It feels... It feels really good. I, yeah. I liked a lot of the new designs and stuff. Like the new the new War Machine design is really I good. I like that as well. He's got a whole new like weapons array that looks really super cool. I don't love the new Iron Man suit. I, I think it's a bit like slick. Yeah, I think, may, I think maybe... I think maybe in the sequel we might go to something else. Yeah. Wait, uh, spoilers. Well, yeah. Sure. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> But we might not. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I think it looks it looks very slick. I think for the most part, because it's it is is it's not a spoiler to say it's like an anarch based. No. Okay, right. And there's a moment and there's moments in it where, you know, he's getting bits taken off it. Yeah. And it, and then it rebuilds itself. Immediately. But yeah. then it's just it's like an hourglass, like it's being like whittled down. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, which I quite like. But there's it, for the most part I think it looks pretty great. Yeah. But there's a moment the first time you see it where the mask forms and it looks terrible. Exactly. It's the worst I completely I've ever agree. Seen in yeah. any of it these looks movies. like a like a fade you do on an after yeah, effects. Looks, and th- and that's the thing, like you see him you see him walking down and it forms up and you see the nanotech like exp- and it looks yeah. great. And then they just went. Oh, let's the just mask cheap. is just clapped. Let's just cheap out on this yeah. last second. It was so, so odd. So weird. Yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah. But because we talked about this in the Winter Soldier commentary, the good thing about this suit is you can just peel back the the helmet mm. the, completely, so you're not just talking through a flipped up mask, which looks stupid. So you can, you can get all his hair. Yeah, yeah. You can get ah, his, all his face. So good. Get, everything's kind of going there. Yep. Uh yeah. So I, you know, I what what about the Spider Man suit? Do you enjoy the Iron Spider suit? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. A lot of people are kind of iffy on it, but yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think you end up being right about his suit, his original suit. Yeah. I think it's only got web shooters. Yeah. I mean, we don't really get a chance for him to do anything else with it. Yeah. This is also in the trailers because he gets given the Iron Spider suit. But I think you're right. I think it's all that tech is not in it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just got like a comm link. Yeah. And maybe a heads up display or something. Yeah. But the rest is just... It's all... Because that's what he works best with. That's right. Just web himself. shooters and a heart. That's right. Mm. Which I liked. Yeah. Okay, what about action sequences? So good. Yeah. Pretty solid, I think. The only thing I think was really lacking from the action sequence is these guys did the Winter Soldier yes. and Civil War. There wasn't really that hand to hand no punchy. There was a lot of punchy of stuff. CGI things. Yeah. And there was some hand to hand. Yeah, a little bit early on. There's some early and but there's also some yeah, it's it's hand to hand between CGI and yeah. people. And it looks good. Yeah, it does look good. Yeah. But I mean this isn't I guess you know, Winter Soldier and Civil War were all about like real dudes just just crashing into one another, yeah, yeah. and that looked great. But this is this movie is more about people shooting big old rays at each yeah. other. 
And but when they are shooting big old rays with each other, there's one sequence where there's a bunch of Avengers in space and the Guardians fighting someone. Oh, yeah. And it's incredible. Yeah, it's it just good. one, and, and it's, they're all kind of piling on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get to see all their different powers, and you get, there's a whole lot of magic happening. And yeah, yeah. It's, it's really great. Mm. So I think, well, this isn't really that kind of movie, but yeah. I guess if I... If I had a complaint, it's we didn't get that stuff. And I only say that because I really like it when yeah, they yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Also, this is a testament. This movie is a testament to uh, the trailers really. There's bit, there's a lot of misdirects in that Boy, trailer. Is there, yeah. There's a lot of pieces missing. There's some yep. alterations done. Dialogue scenes and yeah. stuff changed slightly. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Sneaky. Yeah. But that's okay. I kind of like being surprised. Me too. I've never, I, think, I don't think I've ever been happier to be wrong at so many points. Yeah, absolutely. Because we made, you know, by by... Because we do this, we have to make a lot of predictions about these movies. Yeah. And I really kind of would have been quite disappointed if I'd said, okay, well, the, the, this character yeah. ends up like this. And yeah. then it turned out that way. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised or happy at all. So. Absolutely. I mm. completely agree. Yeah. Because I, I think with Age of Ultron, we're, we're pretty much on the money. Because it's like it was an identical yeah. robot army and whatever. And the weird thing is they snuck in an identical army in this. Yes. And I didn't notice until like two days later that it was like, oh, yeah. Another like army of like yeah. a thousand of the same thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it I works because there's other things going on. Yeah. How yeah. did you feel about the relative power levels of Thanos? I did not like it that. It was very That's inconsistent, one thing wasn't I really, it? I, I wouldn't even say... People are saying this is a really great representation of this character and what a marvelous villain. Marvelous. Ooh. I didn't think he was that strong a villain. Yeah, Like right. either power-wise. Like, is he an idiot? Or is he just toying with people? Because he's... Throughout the, this isn't a spoiler, you see it in the trailers, he collects soul st uh, not soul stones, sorry, he collects infinity stones as they go, but he only seems to kind of sometimes use them, Yeah. but he can explode you or turn a gun to bubbles, but he, he'll fist fight also. Yeah, it's strange, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if, yeah. Because we don't, we. I, I thought in this movie we'd see more of the internal monologue of Thanos. Yeah, right. And his motivations. And, and there is a lot of that. But there's also yeah. there's a lot of there there are there are questions that I think the intelligent characters in these movies should have asked that they never asked. Yeah. About Thanos's motivations and his end game and what he's going to do. Like nobody. There's there's points where characters face off against Thanos and then and there's time to to have a back and forth. And at no point do they go, hey man, why why not this? Yeah, right. Why are you doing this? Here's yeah. another option kind of thing. Yes. It seems very strange that at no point did anybody even ask him those questions. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there was, there was, there was plenty of fighting, but there's also time in between the fighting where they could have... Had a chit and a had chat. Had a bit of a chit and a chat, exactly. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know what's one thing they did do in this, um, in this film? They fixed the timeline. Oh right, I was yeah. not, I'm not concerned about that at all. I don't I don't care if Spider Man took place eight years after or six years or ten. I care, Mason. I bet you do. Yeah. Okay. I know because it just it basically resets to be like they the movies come out roughly the year that they're set. Yeah, fair and enough. that's yeah, yeah pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stupid Spider Man Homecoming. That Spider movie I think is great. Yeah. Ruining everything. Yeah. But uh, what else we got to talk? Oh, we got to talk about this. Okay. Let's talk hair, Mason. Let's talk about hair. He's got the best hair. Well, first uh, of all, we've got to do the Black Widow hair. I think it's some of her best hair. I think it's good. I think yeah. I wasn't sold on it in the trailers, but I think it works in the movie for what do you, sure. What do you think about the colouring of Steve, uh, not Steve, of uh, Tony Stark's hair? Um, does he dyed it again? I just definitely dyed it. Yeah, yeah. So does okay. it feel inconsistent to you? Uh, I think, look, his, yes, but it does. But also, I think Robert Downey Jr. is tired of doing the beard. Because yes. it's basically non-existent in this movie. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. He's like, nah, I'm not going to do it. You were tired of doing the beard as well, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's so much work. I think Captain America had a wig. That's okay. Yep. That's what Looks it does. good, though. Looks good. It's a good looking wig. Yeah. Because um, it's hard for hair to be that versatile, you know? It absolutely. You can't is. have the short hair that looks great and the long hair that looks great. It was, oh, it was so good. How does he do it? How does he do it? I don't know how he does it. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's one thing that people are complaining about in this film. And I'm, I'm, I understand it and I agree in partly to a lot of it. Okay. Is it. Because of the way this film ends and what's set up for in the future, what's at play in the universe means the stakes aren't what you would think necessarily. Like they're not that high. They're I really not. Say. Yeah. 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 But also I've, I've seen the argument that the way the Empire Strikes Back ends, you don't really think that Han Solo is going to die and, and, you know, and Luke's going to yeah, give up. Yeah, for sure. And, Absolutely. And yeah. whatever. But it just feels like in this scenario... There's enough at play where you can 
see the solution even if you don't know exactly how it's going to oh, play yeah, out. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like Empire Strikes Back, you're right. We know that good is going to triumph over evil yeah. eventually. And in this this is the case as well in, in this... I was going to say logically, but logistically, this movie can't leave the universe in the state that it's currently in. It's covered in poo. That's what happens at exactly, the Exactly, that's right. You can't... That's going to be... No amount of Stan Lee's pretending to be a janitor can fix this you know <laughs> exactly yeah yeah well look we'll talk about it in spoilers but do you think that's momentarily the, do you think that's to the detriment of the film no I, I still think the ending is still very impactful this this upset a lot of people yeah. in both both cinemas that it's quite harrowing yeah yeah right <laughs> yeah mm. now there was no shirtless moments which i know you wanted to see who else was going to join Ruffalo the marvel was shirtless oh that was but yeah. did he join the chest no club? he didn't join he didn't join the marvel chess he's club. fit enough for a man of his age oh absolutely he's he doing looks great. good mason and there wasn't even a flattering angle we see him no shirtless. that's right yeah but yeah nobody else joins the chess club i don't think yeah i do wonder though before we get into spoilers yes whether my enjoyment of this film will also hinge on how the next one plays out in the future because i feel like if the matrix wrapped up better yep. matrix 2 would be a better film they explained the architect and whatever and Blah de blah. Didn't like, the Matrix wrap up quite well? The third one. Oh, the third one. Oh, I see. Right. Oh, I see. We saying <laughs> you okay. blanked them out, Mason. Yeah, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or even if you look at, say, the prequels. If Attack of the Clones was great, yep. you'd look at Phantom Menace differently. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but they're mm. not good. Those films. No, that's true. Yeah. So, do you think that the third movie will will it will impact how this movie is received in the future? Ah. Uh... Yes, I think so. Mm. Especially if, especially if the 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 finale of the next one maybe fixes things up too neatly. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Mm. Yeah. Well, because if again, there are some stakes to this movie. We we end on a cliffhanger. Who's gonna live? Who's gonna die? What have you? Yeah. Most people are not gonna be dead forever. In no, this. that's right. But. But some might. Some might. And, yeah. But if they go, you know what? Everything's fine and perfect at the end of Avengers 4 and we all go home happy. I think people might be like, well, why did we even bother with the, the, yeah. the, the uh, Infinity War? You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, it's a best movie ever it's for me. It's definitely best movie ever. But yeah. I think he's a, he's a caveat, Mason. Mm-hmm. Don't bring someone to this if they don't. Not no. no they you're... will hate you and hate this. <laughs> yes, for sure. It's, it's very and, long. Unless they just like exploding spectacle and yeah. they don't ask any questions correct then they're probably not going to enjoy this unless they're really excited to see alan tudyk before the film starts which we did why was he there i it's think like he was Nova there for supernova i think yeah, supernova yeah. was happening and he was happened to be there but he, he walked looked... past we didn't get a photo he looked he looked like he was uh, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't also i think he was coming to see the movie so why yeah. else would he have been there that's a good question maybe he's watching that imax documentary on pandas or something there's a moment where we kind of went is he in this and then we went through all the all, like the list in our heads yeah, right, like, is he exactly. in this one yeah no, he's not. And I think everybody in the theater, in the line to see it, went, oh my God, he's a normal man in every way. He is a he's normal man. He's not too tall or too short. He's not, is he? No. He's, just, he's, he's like 5'9". Right he's right down the middle, that guy. <laughs> he looks like he does in the movies. He does look like he does yeah. in the movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He does. He does, it's true. All right, spoilers? Yeah, spoilers. What do you want to spoil first? Okay, a good place to start, I think, is Thanos' plan... Yes. In the universe. I would love to talk about that. And the flaws that. with that okay. said plan. Okay, yes. Go okay. for it. All right. So, his plan... His, his, so, in the comic books, his goal... His, his goal is similar. He wants to wipe out half the population of the universe. But his moats are different. His moats are different. His yeah. particular moats. Because in the comic books, he sees death personified as a beautiful woman Don't with whom he is in love. Yeah. And he thinks that if he kills half the people in the universe, she will be impressed by that and will return his love because he's mad, he's proper mad. But that's like asking somebody to MC your wedding and thinking you're doing them a favour. You're just giving more work for death. That's very You've true. You've killed half the universe. Yeah, that's true. It's a good point. That's all I'm saying. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, and I can't recall if she is impressed. Maybe she's not and that's why he changes his ways <laughs> temporar- temporarily sure. for a minute. But in the, but at least that makes sense as to why he wants to just kill everyone. But I don't think that's a good movie villain motivation. It's not a good movie yeah. motivation. Well, not necessarily, but I don't think this one is necessarily... Th- Look, we can work our way through this, Yeah. but I think in the movie, he wants to kill half the population because he sees the universe as finite yes. and the resources as finite. And so he sees you know, 
uh, untold numbers of people in the universe starving and and yeah. having a bad time of it. So he he feels that if he kills half the people in the universe, then the universe will flourish again and everyone who remains alive will be happy. Yeah. The problem with that is is he has the infinity gauntlet which can do anything. Yes. And he chooses to kill everybody where what he could do is double the resources of the universe or double the size of the universe or change every person in the universe so they don't require any sustenance to live. What's that English meat drink? A bovril. He could get everyone a cup cup of bovril every morning. Exactly. You could wake up to a hot cup of bovril. bovril. That gives you all the the fat and protein you need and a glass of hot water or milk, apparently. And you said this directly, because there was something during the film that wasn't sitting right with me, and you, as soon as it finished, you said that exact thing. And I went, of course. And the only reason I can think of is, that is is just the, the idea behind his motivation... Like, that's how he justifies it to himself yeah, right. and to others. Yeah. But he just wants to do it because he's just a prick. I yeah, think he's maybe. just angry at, at, at the universe. Because the reason he wants to wipe out half is because that's how that, he proposed that to his planet Titan thousands of years beforehand. And they didn't do it. And everybody died except for him. Yeah, right. And so I guess maybe he just wants to prove that that works yeah. and that he was right. Yeah, maybe. But I also. Also, th- he can bring back his planet. Yeah, that he could. Well, we'll see. That's a, well, we'll talk about it in a second. But I, but my, I guess the question is, he he has a one on one with Tony Stark. He has a one on one with Doctor Strange. Mm. At no point do either of them go, "If you can do anything, why can't you just do this?" It's odd that I think neither of them asked that question. Yeah, right. Of him. Yeah. But I think may, maybe the maybe the the issue is, and and that's the thing because in order for this movie to, in order for the sequel to fix everything successfully, the Infinity Gauntlet has to have the power to bring everybody back. Yes. It has to have the power to undo all these problems and fix everything. Or at the very least, the time gem does. You can stop yeah, him, yeah. exactly. So it must have that ability. Mm. Is the question that he cannot comprehend that it can do that? That Yeah, that's... Like, a, because yeah. he only uses it for, like, shooting rays yeah. and, like, smashing stuff and teleporting... And whatever, yeah. P- potentially, maybe it can only bring people back to life or do anything positive if you know it can do that, right? Like the people, like Doctor Strange and Stark, they only think it's a weapon, yeah. So maybe they only think it's a weapon of mass destruction, and it can. Only, so maybe that's why they don't ask him about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's very possible. And maybe he only thinks it's a weapon of mass destruction as well. Yeah, and it's going to take somebody else. To be like, no, no, you can use it to fix everything. Well, like an Adam Warlock. Well, I was going to say Adam example. Warlock, but it looks like from the post credits that it's going to be Captain Marvel is going to be the yeah maybe the person to drag in to fix this because she's cosmic, yes, sort of, which is probably in space from the way this movie yeah. ends. I think maybe she yeah. Let uh, hang on. Where, where should we? Well, there's so much to talk about. So well, much to bloody unpack. What do you want to do? You want to talk about the post credits now? Let's talk about the post credits okay. now. I thought it was good. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that they Samuel L. Jackson got in his classic catchphrase Again, of swearing. Yes. <laughs> Again, though, like this is nonsense if you don't know not only the movies but also what's coming up and the comics. Well, there was a fraction of a because se- what it happened- took me a second. Yeah, because I went wait Alpha Flight. Yeah, because no wait it's the Captain Star, Marvel. Um, yeah. and then I'm. Then I'm like, Nova Core? And then the colours come down. I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's... Yeah. It's, a, it's handy he's got a beeper that has... <laughs> a space beeper. I, I enjoyed the fact that it was a beeper and that she, that her movie's going to be set in yeah, the 90s. Exactly. I thought that was funny. Yeah. And I liked the fact that, that the movies we're going to get in between now and in, 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 in Avengers 4 yeah. are going to be set out of time or... Yeah, absolutely. Um, because if you... It's, it's a sequel. If it's a sequel. Yeah. Every, half of everybody is, yeah. is dead. But I like... See, that's the thing. The, the sp- you can't do Ant-Man where half of the world is dead. No, for sure. It can't be. Well, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people have been saying, oh, you know... Oh, but the, this... What a, what a grim ending because half the universe is destroyed. But... You cannot... You... This... The next movie will not end with Thanos being defeated and everything else staying the same. Yeah. Because that... Then every story, every subsequent Marvel movie past this, it'd just be people having conversations about how, how three billion people died. Yeah, absolutely. There'd be no... That's all anyone would ever talk about. They wouldn't be like, oh, the vulture's robbing a bank. No, he's not. Why would he? <laughs> He'd be at home sad because his family's dead. Everybody he knows is dead. Like, uh, nobody would do anything else. Absolutely. And I, this, I was going to save this question for later, but I think this works now. This is from uh, Salford Citizen. Surely the ending of Infinity War will spill over to Netflix TV shows and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. There's no way to get around it. Do you guys agree? Last, we'd like to say hi to the podcast dog. She's a real star of the show. She sure is. Mm. Uh, so do you think 
I mean, Agents, Agents of Shield will definitely address this. Yep. Half the universe is dead. Is it back this year? I believe so. Okay, right. And then on, off the back of that, I'm not sure that the Netflix shows will. No. I think they're so separate from the rest yeah. of it. I think they'll discuss it as Incident 2.0 or something like that. Or not at or all. Or not at all, right. Yeah. yeah. Because you you technically have to... You'd have to remove at least a couple main characters from each yeah. show. Foggy? Foggy? Not Foggy. How's he going to yell at Matt Murdock for not being a good friend? Exactly. Yeah. I don't think they'll mention it. I think they're... they're... Also, we don't really know when they're set. Yeah. So they could be set before this. That's true. Yeah. I think they might be, yeah. Yeah. Bloody timelines. Bloody timelines. Uh, yeah, I th- maybe I think probably Agents of Shield will address it and yeah. nobody else. Because Agents of Shield seems to run parallel with the movies. Yes. Oh, they used to do more of that. I don't watch yeah, it anymore, yeah. but yeah. Um I was gonna say. Oh, uh, regarding Captain Marvel and the yeah. post credits sure, sequence. Yeah. Uh I like the fact that we don't get any indication as to where she is. She might still be in the nineties. Like that might be a beeper that's operating through through time that's, as well I as space. I didn't think of that. That's very possible. There yeah. might be some sort of relativistic time travel effect or something like that. Yeah, she right. might be in a pocket dimension. Could be in a pocket dimension. Like yeah. it, there's also no explanation as to why she hasn't aged. I think she's in space. I think the the Kree kind of blood in her or whatever's going oh, okay, on. Okay, right. Okay. It, that, I think that's the reason. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's exciting. It is exciting. It's so exciting. Going forward from this, well, what I thought was really interesting yes. was when at the end when they kill everybody or half the universe. Yeah. The people that are left are the core Avengers and a yeah. few extras. Yes. Uh, so I think it's going to work well for the next movie. Instead of having to tie in Ragnarok and Guardians and Civil War and whatever and bring it all together, yep. you can focus on telling a more focused story with fewer characters. Mm. And I think we're going to get something more akin to the first Avengers movie. Yeah. Not that, obviously. But I mean in terms of storytelling, yeah. where you don't have to jump around yeah. as much. And I think that's a good way to do it. Because really, the fact that this movie works by bringing together all these characters and storylines at all is amazing. Oh, absolutely. They couldn't even get a Justice League right. Do you, you know? think that there's a reason why basically all the original Avengers are still alive? Yes, I think it's a swan song for a bunch of them. No, but I mean, do you think... Oh, I think there's an actual reason. Wise? No, because I think earlier on when he's proposing, when he mentions how he... Uh, Thanos mentions how he's going to wipe out half of Titan. Yes. He says that it was going to be completely at random. Yes. And I feel as if what he's done here is completely at random and maybe it's destiny or whatever. Yeah, right. But I think him clicking his fingers, I don't think he went through individually and went, I'll say this person killed that person. No, no, I think sure. it was just a, like, I think he could have gone out in that moment. Yeah, also. right. I'll probably not because yeah. I think he planned on retirement. Yeah, for sure. But Well, I tried to figure it out. I thought at one point it might have been, it seemed to me that anyone who stood it it felt to me like anybody who either defeated one of Thanos's generals or, or anyone who stood yeah. against Thanos by themselves lived but you i don't think that right. but no i don't think i am though because at one point a war machine does yeah no, he didn't disappear does he no war machine war machine doesn't no. disappear hulk doesn't hulk oh, doesn't. no he defeats one of his generals yeah but um that stands up be- except for scarlet witch kills yes girl uh, girl, the girl, girl from the order. leftovers. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, who, funnily enough, that show was also about a bunch of the population disappearing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but otherwise, it, otherwise it works. Yeah. Because uh, Captain America like faces up against Thanos by himself. So does Iron yes. Man. That was uh, also like that trailer bit was just oh, so it was misleading. A, it was a I was talking about misleading stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no Thor's Hulk. Eye. No Thor's Hulk. eye. Yeah. Does Rocket steal that eye from somebody in Guardians 2? I don't think so. He okay. gets given an eye by Groot. Yes. I think, but no, he says he gets it. This is my Easter egg video. Check. Yeah. It's, a, it's so extensive, oh Mason. It took me forever to I make. Bet. I bet it was like it four solid days. Oh God. I got so much footage that you think it wasn't on the internet, but I found it. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, he says he gets got it from Contraxia, which is that robot prostitute planet from Guardians oh, okay, right. 2. Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah. What were, we, what, was, what were we talking about, though? You said uh, the thing we were talking about. Oh, Mr. X. There we go, yeah. Uh, Spider-Man's dying. They kind of take away the flakiness on they his... They do. They also take away his um, his spider extra arms. Yep, true. In the Iron Spider suit. Because we see in the trailer him just sort yeah. of spiraling through, exploding things on Titan. Mm. But in that sequence, he's also he's catching, saving Mantis yeah, and Drax. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. I like that, though, because it didn't feel like... I mean, there was stuff that was left left out. Uh-huh. Uh, but I liked that there were intentional misdirects. Yeah. And, it, and ever since they did it in like Age of Ultron with like adding characters, yeah. it kind of became, 
Or in like Thor's eye patch and Ragnarok yeah. is a better yeah. example. Yeah. It yeah. kind of became like, oh, anything can happen. Yeah. yeah. Bruce Banner defeats the big guy. Yeah. By rocket hitting. Putting yeah, he the doesn't bust out of his bloody suit. That was good. I enjoyed I that. that a lot, I yeah. like the I like the idea that. He stands on his own as Bruce Banner. Yeah. He doesn't need the Hulk to save him every single time. I thought that was cool. Why do you think the Hulk didn't want to come out? Was he embarrassed? Yeah, because Thanos defeated him. Yeah. Like, because all, all the Hulk has is punching. Yeah. And, it, and Thanos didn't even, it didn't even break a sweat. It seemed like as well when he was fighting the Hulk, it seems like there's more fun, like he's trained and the yes. Hulk isn't. So yeah. he's hitting him in places where, like he hits him in the neck. Yeah. You know, and yeah, I, I Speaking of necks. Yeah. Uh, at one point... <laughs> This is how we're going to this segue now. This is the next now. point, is it? Yes. Um, at one point, uh, I mean, it's a, it's in the, it's in a reality bending sequence, but Gamora does stab Thanos in the neck, and he's clearly going to die. Yeah. Because what that does is that introduces this element of how powerful is Thanos really? Yeah. Because why didn't somebody else just stab him in the neck later? But can he be stabbed in? the That's neck? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Was that an illusion produced by the reality gem that he can die? Or is it at that point he's beyond that? I think it because he had the reality gem, he just made that scenario. I think, yeah. well, he does get stabbed, so he can be stabbed. Yeah. But I don't know whether... Yeah. I think that's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. I think, but look, he's, he's definitely less power than he was, was in the comics with it, I feel. Yeah, or for even, sure. Or maybe not, but the way he chooses to use it. Because Thor breaks his defenses and gets yeah. an axe in him. Yeah. When he's got the whole gauntlet. Yeah. I think that... It's mostly just a weapon that he happens to be attached to. Yeah, right. Like if he doesn't, if he can't close his fist, it doesn't work. Yeah, and he can still be injured. Yeah, and like each of the gems only does one specific thing, really. But mm. it's the combination. Combination, because you see him when he's torturing uh, Nebula. Yeah. You see that he's using two. Yeah, I can't remember which ones, but yeah, it's like reality and I think it's space and power reality, maybe. or something. Yeah, maybe yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I can't uh-huh. remember. But yeah, I, I think yeah. So realistically, like, because in Guardians One. It seems like any of the gems could destroy a planet or what have you, but I think that's just the power gem. Yeah, right. So like all of them only have one, re- only all of them only really have one specific use. Yes. in this kind of thing. The, the thing about the reality gem is it's strange because it can turn a gun to bubbles and whatever and uh-huh. make an illusion. Yeah, it can it only alter small bits of reality? It seems that way. Because it seems like it can just do a hologram. Yeah, and also change small little things. I think that yeah, I think that is the case. I think it seems to be it's small scale manipulation of reality. Yeah. So like gun to bubbles or what have you, and it's like a large scale illusion, like he does with nowhere, he does with Titan. Yeah. But I don't think he can actually alter reality on the on the universal scale until he gets it all, them together. all together. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Here's a question. This is a question that we got. This is from the emails. We can find it on Dig in. This is from Anderson Carmen. Good name. My wife says Avengers was dumb. Well, your wife's header. dumb. No, wow. That's, no, that's fair. No, that's fair. Um, okay, here's a question. Here's the um, here's a question she brought up. Sure. Um, why don't they cut off Thanos' arm? <laughs> Remember when they're struggling with him on Titan? Yep. Uh, because if you recall, there's a point where on Earth, the good guys are fighting the big dude and Wong just closes the portal on his arm. That was my comes favorite. Off. That's so it's good. good, right? <laughs> yeah. It's good stuff. And then but, Wong's uh, invited to his wedding. wedding yeah. That's great. But I guess the question is, why wouldn't you just do that to Thanos? Can you? Yeah, I don't. We don't know if he, we know. You, Tony Stark hits him With square in the try. face, yeah, and just nicks him. Yeah, so we don't really know why didn't they even try? Did you say? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Maybe they did though. Maybe they did. I don't well, know. So a lot of this seems to be us justifying. Like we we have no prizing all of these yes. things. Where I guess because it looked good and I think it had an impact and I liked it a lot. So I think a lot of these cases, I'm like, well, just say this happened. Yeah. So I mean, potentially. At one point, Strange tries it on him. He's yeah. just like, I'll just use a portal and cut his head off. Yeah. But then it doesn't work. Yeah, right. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe having the gauntlet protects him against certain amounts of stuff. Yeah. Maybe having the space gem means that he can't be hurled through a portal. Cause at, at end, well, that's true as well. At no right, point guess, does, yeah. is he put through a... No, he does his own teleporting. Because he's got the space yeah. gem. Did you know Spider-Man jumping through the portals and hitting him? That was fun. Ma- ma- that was- and the bit where uh, uh, Quill puts the bomb on his back and then gives him the finger. Yeah. And then... Backpedals through the portal. I thought Great. it was funny. It's really good. My favorite moment from the film might be the I am Steve Rogers. Oh, but he meets interaction. Groot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, that's what I was going to say. That's We're terrific. talking about good pairings. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed uh, Thor and Rocket and Groot teaming up. Me too. And then Rocket and the Winter Soldier teaming up. Yes, I that was funny. absolutely. Yeah. I really like... Thor is 
amazing in this. Yeah, for Chris sure. Hemsworth because he does all like he does the fun and the action and whatever. He out funnies uh, Star Lord and absolutely lot of instances, he does. I think, yeah, and there's the bit where but he has like a minor breakdown where Rocket's talking to him about what what happens to it, what's happened to yeah. him. And he's like, everyone I know is dead, but. Don't worry, that just means more incentive to, for me to move forward. And you just see him, he's just yeah. like, he's really... He's defeated, He's yeah. just really beat this, down. This, uh, this is absolutely a, a, yeah. a Thor Ragnarok sequel. Definitely. And like, I love that when he's like, he's never fought me before. And Rocket's like, well, he, he has yeah. been <laughs> fought you before and he won. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's the thing I didn't like. Mm. I didn't like the fact that we didn't see uh, the Nova planet being destroyed. Yeah. And I didn't like the fact that we got, we, we got caught in the tail end of the battle. Of the the opening battle, oh, you want to see all that? I kind of wanted to see it, and I understand like they've shortcut it yeah. by going every. You've defeated everybody, but you haven't defeated the Hulk. Yeah, but here's the Hulk. Where's the Hulk? And now you've defeated the Hulk. Yeah. So I understand it's like okay, you've beaten everybody, and except for the strongest one, and now you've beaten the strongest yeah. one. So we don't technically need to see it, but I would have liked to see how Thanos got one over on Thor, yeah, who right. just became like the mightiest god there is. It's strange because. He didn't need the hammer and whatever, and the power was within him. Yeah, yeah. But I guess he also does need it. Yeah, yeah. Seems out. All he needs a more power. This is a more powerful, a more powerful we- weapon. Yeah. Mm. It's it's Peter Ray Bill's hammer, except it's an axe because it's called it's Stormbreaker, called Stormbreaker, but it, but it is, looks it's like the, the ultimate hammer. It looks like the ultimate hammer yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh. And Groot's worthy. I guess. Or was no, he just I putting it together? I, I don't think he was worthy. I don't think maybe this hammer doesn't work like we that. Did, well, that's also yeah. true. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's all. Pr- how good was Peter Dinklage as the? As I the see. Ju- there were moments when I'm like, is he a good actor? I don't know either. To be honest, yeah, he's in, he's in that. I, I at- called giant Peter Dinklage as did well. You? I said it on this did podcast. You? I'm sure right. I did. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but no, I, I thought it was a pleasant surprise him showing up. But I thought some of his delivery was a bit. Wooden. Well, I mean, he is delivering to literally no one. Yeah, it's on a sound stage. But it's not only that. I, and this is ca- as a carryover from Game of Thrones. I don't think he does a great accent. No, you're he's right. He's American. He's yeah. like, hello, hello, it's me, Peter. I think they could have because the way he was artificially deepening his voice. I think he should have just spoke normally, and they tweaked it. Yeah, because right. Vin Diesel does teenage Groot and baby Groot. Yes, but they, they alter it. I think him going. I'm a dwarf and I like that. Yeah, right. I don't think yeah. that that threw me about that. Yeah, he character. should have spoken normally and they should have added a booming. Yeah, like an echo absolutely. To it. Yeah. But I like the idea yeah. of taking that actor and putting yeah. him in that role. Mm. I think is really good. Oh, uh, if, we, if we're just pinball, pinballing around different topics sure. as we should be. Yes. Ah, uh, the Red Skull's back. Oh I enjoyed God. that a lot. That blew my mind. Yeah. And it's not him. No, it's Richard. David, Marquand, who we spoke to afterwards, Richard was Marquand? like, yeah, that, he's I, from. Uh, Walking, Walking Dead, Dead but right? he's a, he's an excellent. He's a mimic, I guess. He's a mimic. Yeah, right. I did. I, it's in my Easter egg video. Who is he? Who, who is he in the Walking Dead? Awesome guy. But well, he's good in it. Okay. I was, the Walking Dead cast is yeah. good, and they're but good he was quite. Dead. I was until the second viewing. Yeah, I'm second like, one. I, I was thought, like, is this uh, Hugo? I thought maybe it was Hugo weaving, and then they maybe they just did the voice. Maybe did it yeah. over the phone because it they, looks like a CGI face. Yeah, right. But mm. but it is good that they just gave him. Blew my bloody mind, yeah. mate. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Because he was shot out in space. He what was happened shot to him? Space. That was like the second movie or the third I movie know, or something. I know, it's crazy, yeah. Really I, good. I like the way they managed to get around the Hugo Weaving. Because Hugo Weaving has also said, he said, I don't want to do it. And then a few years prior, he's like, yeah, I guess I'd come back. But I think they just went, you know what? You don't really want to do it, so we'll just work around you. Yeah, for and sure. And I, I think that was a good way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I did like? And we talked about this briefly with the Iron Man suit. It has a finite amount of nanobots. I guess it does, so yeah. So when he's fighting Thanos at the end... And Thanos is just chipping bits off him and breaking off yeah. the suit and he tears his helmet off. You see it whittling down, like the leg becomes exposed. Yeah, and right. He puts all the power into the shields and, yeah. and whatever. So, uh, like, I think in the next one, he's just going to go back to standard Iron Man suit. It maybe. might have to be. Or maybe, like, space, like, maybe one he builds in space. Yeah, well, he's got a Guardian space one. He could maybe do an Asgardian one. There's a bunch yeah. of stuff that he could do. Yeah. For, uh, but also, if they're nanobots, maybe they can replenish themselves. Yeah, for sure. You might have a recharging time or yeah. something, yeah. So, but no, I, I I didn't like the design, but I like what it was capable of. And it feels like a really good progression from where we started, where he had to get pride out of it to it's just this liquid. Yeah, for sure. Speaking yeah. of suits though, this is my same problem I have with the Black Panther suit. There's a moment where he gets... First of all, he's not he's clearly not that good a fighter. <laughs> no. I did like the bit uh, we mentioned it before where his helmet gets wrenched off and then immediately he's just got mm. another helmet. I thought that was good. That was a good effect yeah. too, wasn't yeah. it? So they can do that effect. Yeah, I guess they can, yeah. Black Panther gets pinned down one point at one point and they just a hundred monsters are scratching at him. You could chip it away wait him for a thousand years. 
He's in a completely indestructible suit. Yeah, right, okay. There's no stakes to that character when he's got that suit on. Mm. Is that just me? Oh, uh, look. Because I... Steve Rogers is just sleeves rolled up. Yeah. He's got a little bit of armor on him. Yeah. You know? And I know it's the suit. It's the way you, you built it into the universe. Yeah. But I think they need to do something with that. Because when he's in a cat suit and it's bulletproof and he can't be yeah. stopped and he's invincible. It's, he's more as cares? a supporting character, that's very cool. Yes. But as a main character, it's not. I think by the next one, mm. not even the next... The, not the next... Uh, maybe not the next Avengers, but definitely by the next Black Panther, the bad guys will have figured it out, how to yeah. counteract it immediately. Vibranium bullets. I think or it'll whatever, be the, the, yeah. like the very first thing. Yeah, he'll come up with a team of bad guys, and he'll be like, "This is going to be easy," and they'll yeah. just drop him because they've got a countermeasured device. Maybe or it's array a sonic or thing. Or yeah, whatever. exactly yeah. for sure. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Okay, I, I hope so. Yeah, and he was also. He, I think the reason why, like, he left, Doctor Strange left, mm-hmm. and a bunch of others left because they're going to be running the Avengers. After the next film, yeah, for sure, it's going to be a Captain Marvel led, yeah, new Avengers team with some some existing members. Yes, I also like that the ones they left make for some interesting pair ups. Like Rocket is the only Guardian left, and yep. he's with the Avengers. Yes, he only sort of knows Thor. Yeah, and nobody else. And and Nebula is stuck with Tony Stark. Stark. And they've never even they've spoken. Never met. Yeah, exactly, they don't yeah. know anything about each other. Yeah, that's right. She just drops out of space to fight Thanos. Yeah. There's no moment of... What do yeah. they have? They have the Milano. That's still Operation the Milano. Right? And they have her escape pod. Yes. That's what they got. Okay. But Thor also has a axe that can travel through any, to anywhere. I guess so. that's true, yeah. So, and presumably Tony Stark's got some kind of tracking beacon, maybe. I don't know how it works. Maybe. But yeah. Uh, we haven't really talked about the other... Vi- what do you think of the villains? Have we not talked about the villains because they're just sort of generic? One of them I really liked. Was it was it Mr. Fe- Schmancy Pants yeah, Man? He was Schmancy Man. Great. I yeah. love when he turns up to Earth and he's doing the speech and Tony Stark and Doctor Strange are just like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed that I enjoyed lot. that. But the other two were kind of... Yeah. Also, um, Benedict Wong. Wait. Wong. Wong. Just Wong. What's his last name though? Ben- I think his name is Benedict Wong. Oh, okay. Well, Let I'm me ben- check. We'd better be right about this. Yeah. Uh, here's, two, here's two weird coincidences. Yeah. There's two Sherlock Holmeses in this movie. It is Benedict Wong. <laughs> and both of the main characters, both of the main actors in Doctor Strange are called Benedict. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And also Robert Downey Jr. is Sherlock Holmes. That's what I'm saying. And, oh, sorry. I thought you meant Martin Freeman. He's not in this, is he? No. But Captain Marvel, yes. played by Jude, Jude Law, is, also is Watson. Yeah. Watson. I mean, wow. everybody gets a every, everybody gets a run at everything. Yeah, for days. sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but man, Benedict Wong is good in this as well. He's great. Yeah. And I understand why he didn't go with them. Yeah. Because he was like, I have to stay in the sanctum, man. Like, Do you think he's still alive? Yes. Well, you need some magic. You need some magic. Uh, ah, yeah. okay. So, any anyway, uh, villains? What do yeah. You, okay. So, the other two, the big one especially, Yep. who cares, is the Hulk. Yep, whatever. Sure. I did enjoy the fight between him and Spider-Man and Tony Stark in the park. Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed mm-hmm. that, but not because he's interesting. The it's fem- more interesting because you've got like... Um, you know, Peter Parker knows he can grab a, a taxi cab and like hurl it at him yeah. using physics and geometry. Yeah. Learn your geometry, kids. Learn your bloody geometry. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, the female one, I didn't mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was okay. I guess there was, she... I don't know her name. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, but fine. And she's dead, I guess. Yeah. And the other one. The dark elf guy looking guy. Whatever. We... I can't remember anything he did. He's... Apparently he's tethered to his glaive. And he oh he makes the army. In the comics, he makes the army. Oh, I see, right. I also like the idea that Thanos is just churning through alien armies. It's just, just like the Chitauri yeah. gets wiped out. My brother had an idea. I think it was my brother had Which the one? idea that the one that you don't like. That's what I figured. That the, the, ar- one, you, the one I like wouldn't have oh, an opinion Maybe it was. No, this. it was the brother you did like. Wow, actually. weird. I think it might have, he's, we had a discussion. I think he said something like, it would have been more interesting if Thanos' army was made up of civilizations that he's conquered yeah maybe yeah then oh. just i mean i understand why they did generic all the same army because it's easier to design or whatever for sure yeah uh but i think that would have been an interesting yeah mm-hmm. kind of take on it did you like the battle of wakanda i i'm not really big on uh, no i like the uh, i like the individual pieces i liked when scarlet witch and black yes. widow and okoye teamed that was, up that was super cool i 100 percent think they're doing a female-led movie down the yeah, line because be um, we were talking about this after the film and how do you how do you market it without people going, just, this is just bloody Avengers with girls or whatever? Mm. And you just said, you just do it and you don't say anything. Yeah. Like, it's just, the story calls for it. And yeah, yeah. I thought of Annihilation is a female led science fiction movie. Yeah, for sure. But it's never a point where, just look at these girls going into this bloody dimension yeah, right. or whatever. Exactly. So if you just do it. Yeah. 
And also, if you make it part of this 19 movie franchise, mm. what are you going to imagine going, no, I'm not going to sue this one. Yeah. Or I'm not going to sue because it's girls that, well, you're going to miss out on some plot points, aren't exactly. you? Exactly. Yeah. And, and seeing those three, like just those three, there's more you could put in there, like fighting together in the ditch. Yeah. Great. You put and them I, and you put Valkyrie yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. It's only like 20 seconds, but it's a really good moment. Yeah. They and they t- bounce off each other well. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Do you think that Okoye is going to become Black Panther in the next one? I think she will. That's very possible. I think that the or two options... Shuri. Op- no, I don't think it's Shuri. She, yeah. she ain't got the skills. She's not a fighter. I think the two options are Okoye or M'Baku. I like him. Yeah, he's good, right? Yeah. 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 But I think he's even too big. He's the, probably too big. But yeah. I think I think it'll be Okoye. He's She'll, great, right? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I think Okoye is going to be going to put on the Black Panther suit. Okay, I want an all-female team and him. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, cool, man. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, what else? Mm. There's so much else to talk about in this movie, I think. There's a bit where Captain America's running with Black Panther. And yeah. they're just booking They're just it. outpacing everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great. Um, uh, what okay I didn't like but I, I don't I think it's going to be fine in the long term yep there's not a lot of Captain America in this no he doesn't there's bits and pieces he you know he yeah. saves the vision and whatever yeah but I think people next, are so excited Every, both times I saw he shows it up. people are so excited to see him we yeah. saw it in the trailer we knew it was going to happen yeah. but he comes out of the shadows and people are like Oh, he's back. Everything's going to be fine. He looks so and cool. it wasn't fine. It wasn't fine. It wasn't fine at all. He gets swatted aside like he's nothing, but... You know, I had a thought about the vision as well. Yes. So he dies at the end. He gets the gem pulled from his head and yeah. then Scarlet Witch is taken away and he turns grey. Yeah. I think there's a possibility that they're going to bring him back without the gem. Yep. And he'll be the one colour. Yeah, the soulless yeah. robot one yeah. that, we, that we saw in the comics. Not the weird fleshy white nah, one. No, get out of I it. I think grey would look There amazing. is a grey one in the comics. Oh, okay, right. Gray. But I think also the reason they can they could do that, and it might not even be in the next film, it could yeah, be yeah. down the line, uh-huh. is that they've established that there is more to him, like he's part Ultron, part Stark, part Banner. Um, Jarvis. Part, yeah, part Jarvis. And all of that has built something new. Yeah. So I think there's probably enough of him left in there. I'm going to make a hit prediction. Hit prick! I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> Ow! I'm going to make a hit prediction. I think at the end of the next, at the end of the next one, He'll be maybe they'll put him back together, yeah, and he'll be grey and he'll be soulless, and everybody will come back, and there'll be and he'll, there'll be a moment where we think that he's gone forever, and there'll be like a little spark where he recognizes Wanda, yeah, maybe, right. and you go, okay, he's coming back eventually. It'll be like the Magneto yeah. moving the piece, yeah, or it'll right. be like Spock, where you're like, oh, Spock doesn't remember anybody, but then he does remember everybody. Yeah. You know, that's a hit prick, Mason. That's a real hit prick. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Uh, what else? A lot, of, a lot of stuff to talk about in this movie. Uh, Thanos mentions to Thor that he should have hit him in the head with the hammer. Yeah. And he should have. Oh, yeah. But I feel like he was just trying to get in close. <laughs> like, it wasn't... Yeah, right. He was just sure. aiming for him. Yeah. And that's just... The bit where Thor turns up on Wakanda is great. That is good, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. like, all the individual bits of that battle are great. Yes. But the, just people smashing into stuff. Yes. Not that exciting. I think, um... Whether, so they also mention Ant-Man and Hawkeye, how they're under house arrest. Yes. We'll see that in Ant-Man, which is, again, why I think it's set prior. I think Hawkeye's family are going to be dead. Yep. And he, they do do Ronan. So they, he, his family all go, and it's yeah, just right. him. So wow. then he's like, well, I'm back now, aren't I? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. I think that's how they're going to wow. do it. Interesting they didn't use him at all. But I kind of like that. Same. It's like they how they look Skywalker in the... There's no way he's not going to turn the tide at the end of the... I mean, I made a lot of predictions about this one that were wrong. <laughs> Look, we made a bit of a kerfuffle about, about, the Pepper, about Pots. Pepper Potts being in the Iron Man suit. She absolutely was not. But how are we to know? We weren't to know. We don't make these movies. <laughs> no, we don't. Unless we're being paid by Marvel for deliberate misdirects. I said early on, I think, that that's that Spider-Man dies. Yeah, right. I mean, everybody dies. It's not really a prediction. Sure. And then that... Pepper Potts thing made a lot of sense to me. So it's not all you, Mason. Okay, cool. You dumbass. I'm a kind of a dumbass. Okay, so f- as far as the future goes, yep. uh, when everybody, when before Doctor Strange goes, oh, also that's, okay, let's talk about this, when everybody yes. goes. It's it's harrowing. Oh, yeah. Because there's no music. There's no music. There's no, they don't turn to dust, they turn to nothing. Yeah. So there's no evidence they were ever there or ever existed. No, isn't there bits of dust on the ground? No, goes. Are you sure? Yeah, because oh. remember at the end when they look, when when Fury and Hill look in the SUV, there's literally nothing Oh, yeah, good there. point. Yeah. They, it, Maybe there was never anyone in there. It's a self-driving oh. car. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. But like when, no, because the first person you see disappear is the Winter Soldier. Yeah. And he only, because he's on like leafy ground. 
and then in like muddy kind of ground yeah. and Steve looks for him but everybody else just goes yeah, right. like there's dust and then there's nothing okay so yeah. it looks like they never existed at all Whoa. so but people remember them yes cuz then it's cuz it also made everybody go and nobody remembers them that's true. What but a prick. He didn't. What, a, what a meanie. What a mean boy. <laughs> what yeah, a mean he's a real man. mean boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I thought that was, even though as it was happening, I'm like, well, there's a way out of this. Mm. It was still spooky, I yeah, guess is sure. the, way to, the way to put it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And like I said, the, okay, well, maybe we could talk about, I don't know if you've got that listed. Who's at the end of Avengers 4, yeah. who's going to still be alive and who's actually going to be dead? Okay. I think... Gamora might be trapped in the soul stone. I think that's true also because he sees her after he clicks yes. his fingers. Or I guess my question was... It's not a fun Guardians 3 if Peter Quill is grieving. Over the death of Gamora, exactly. But then maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe you do it more... Also, don't kill one of the six female characters you have. That's all I'm saying. Um, but, but I can understand why yeah. it had to be her in this movie. Yeah. Because do she's the think, only one with the connection yeah. to it. Do mm. you think that that's her... Or do you think that is the madness inside his brain? Do you think he sees as as a child all the time? That's a possibility. I get. I sort of got the sense that in place of death, because when he does it in the comic books, he sees death. Yeah. I think maybe that's what he sees in his mind. Is he sees this child yeah. who's trying to save all the time, and he's like, "Well, I have to save. I have to kill all these people to save her all the time." Yeah. So I think maybe even even the killing of her in real life yeah. didn't count as much to him because that's not the version he sees. Oh, he okay, sees yeah, yeah. the child one. He's like, I've got to save her no matter what. Yeah. And so maybe that's why. And that's why she seems happy that he's done it. Yeah. So I don't know. I also, though, wonder if he did bring her back. Because technically he could if he can do anything. Yeah. If he did, that negates him making the sacrifice of the soul stone. And then he loses and the soul stone. And then he loses stone. it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe he doesn't know that. Uh-huh. Or whatever, but I think that might be a play in the, f- in yeah. the future. I think, yeah, because I, I think the 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 general consensus seems to be everybody was killed by the Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. Like the, the snap at the end. They're all going to come back. Yep. So the only people who are really probably definitely going to die are the people who were killed before that happens. Like Loki. Loki's hard doll. There's not that many. There's, There's really like, not, yeah. But I think... Potentially Vision... Yeah, he might stay dead. Yeah, I don't think so, but maybe, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's hard to know because... What can it do? <laughs> what can it do? But also, who of the new team are going to sack... Like, I, I potentially one of the new people, one of the people who we think are going to be in the new team of Avengers, maybe one of them's going to die. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think, yeah, I think some of them, some of the original Avengers will die forever in the next one. Yes. Well, forever, you know, but yeah, proper yeah. dead, uh-huh. not turn to leaves. And that's the thing. Also, Loki and Heimdall are dead, but also they are somewhat cosmic beings. They could come back as spirits. They could come reincarnate as somebody else. They could come back... Also time travel. Time travel. They could come back, you know, what in in that... They could come back in the, in the original comic book Thor scenario where Loki arrives on Earth. Like, he just appears as a normal man on Earth and he doesn't have any memory if he's oh, Loki. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. And then he's... Oh, Heimdall could do that. Any of them can do it. Yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. But I think, I think Gamora will be back... Only because the soul for a soul situation. Yeah. I feel like that means that when the the gauntlet is broken apart in the future or what have you, yeah. whoever does that will be like, and he is just, you know, just, and she comes and then she wakes up and then yeah. she puts herself back together and limps home or whatever. Like a spaghetti, like the spaghetti one happened. Yeah, yeah, spaghetti one. Yeah. Why didn't he turn everyone to spaghetti? Why didn't he turn everyone to spaghetti? Exactly. Don't fight. Yeah. The only reason I can think of was... Because he likes a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Weird call. Who wants to fight a plate of spaghetti? Nobody. You want to enjoy a plate of spaghetti? Oh, I'd love to enjoy a plate of spaghetti right now. Like, I think this is a good thing to end on. Okay. Uh, before Doctor Strange... We've did... turned, we're turning to dust! Ah! Anyway, but... Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> we're actually fine. Don't even worry so, about it. So, Doctor Strange uh, says at the end to Tony Stark... This is the only way. Yes. So I assume that the one scenario out of the 14 million that he checked on mm-hmm. that worked out was this one. Yes. The, the plan wasn't to get the glove. No. The plan was for this to play out exactly as it does. And then into the in future events that he's not a part of. That's why he doesn't cut the arm off. That's also possible. Yeah. yeah there you go. Because he need. I think, yeah. So what do you think the, the maybe the scenario is? That? Time travel. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think they're going to go back and... Do a bloody time travel thing. How far? All the I way think back? We might even get like a greatest hits of like movies or yeah, whatever. Wow, okay. Yeah, wow. Uh, yeah. 
But no, I think we will. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think right. that's what we're getting. Mm. I mean, among other things, who knows? They've all the Russo brothers have also said that they're going to work in that, you know, that Iron Man tech where he can talk to his parents in his memories. Oh yeah, right. So maybe if you, you know, applied that to the Time Stone, yeah, you could craft back like scenarios you know like the polaroid episode of red dwarf where they go back in time yeah right uh uh-huh. like that yeah it's not a good time example. slides yeah, time slides it's like yeah. time slides maybe yeah. i guess so yeah um maybe i'm gonna say not time travel okay i think that makes it too easy to fix everything i think maybe whoever's left somehow makes thanos see the error of his ways and he fixes everything maybe. and then they beat him or up. he gives it up and then they beat him up yeah yeah also it seems like he has given it up maybe or yeah. he's not doesn't have it on him. That be yeah, and we we had this, we had the question afterwards: is the is the Infinity Gauntlet still is it wrecked now? But I don't he think used, it is. No, it isn't because he uses the space stone to escape. escape. Yeah, mm. and the, but the other thing is, you see his armor on the scarecrow at the end. I don't remember whether the gauntlet is on it or not. Uh-huh. Also, he might be wearing the gauntlet, and you just can't see. Yeah, because exactly. Yeah, we don't see his, yeah. his hand. I don't think so. There was great Doctor Strange magic in this. There was where he got the gem from space. Yeah. The winds of Watumb? Yeah. The cloak's great? He uses the I, what I assume are the crimson bands of Cyberact ah, to, trap, so to good. trap Thanos's arm. So he good. He does the thing where he's, he turns into a million of himself. Yeah. Oh, that's magic, baby. That's he what turns I want. A, some, he turns something into butterflies. Yeah. I can't remember what it is, but that's magic, baby. That's what I want. You know what I love? Even though None he's of this that, firecracker kung no, fu nonsense. There is some of that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good to see a bit of that. Yeah. You know what I did like, though? Yeah. That he's not even close to being the best wizard. Yeah, that's <laughs> like cool. Like, he does yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah. And he's still not. I like know. the fact that the, the fancy schmancy pants man yeah. just thinks he's like a... He, he's like he's like a kid's magician. Yeah. That's the scale that he thinks he's dealing with. Yeah. And he's better than that. But also, I like the idea that there's aliens out there also using magic. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. I like the bit how he got blown out the airlock. So much pop culture. I love it. Did you like the bit how Tony Stark was like, no more pop culture, and then he did so much pop culture himself? Yeah. He's big on pop culture. Yeah. All right. It's good. Might have to wrap it up here. All right. So you're saying time travel. Yep. I'm saying not time travel. I'm not saying strictly time travel, but a variation on okay. time yeah, travel. Okay, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. But I, I just think that... I don't think it's going to be step into a portal and whatever. No, because I, and I also think that if if the closer is time travel, mm. then that's the end of this universe. Because there's no way you can't just you can't just be like, hey, Doctor Strange, can you fix this? Depends how you do it. Depends yeah, what they do with the gems at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm. they've destroyed them before and whatever. Yeah. Who knows, Mason? Got some uh, reviews here, though, from people who... I'm uh, ready. Who've, been, ...who've sent these in. By Twitter, mm-hmm. from said uh, Samayoa says, probably said that wrong. Hey guys, just saw Infinity War. And I think what I loved uh, most about it was how Captain America never made any verbal uh, contact with Thanos. At best, it was just a minor inconvenience. Thoughts? That I like that a lot. Too, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think they. I think we might get that Captain America Thanos showdown from the comics in the next one, where he just gives them the talk. Yeah, for show. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah, and I did like at the end that Thanos just ripped through again, like we were talking about Black Panther. Mm. At the end, he just he just tosses him aside, yeah. like the 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 kinetic energy absorption yeah. thing. It doesn't matter. Hulkbusters, intangible or whatever. Yeah, it just goes through him. Real cool. Uh, Dennis says, "I really enjoyed Infinity Wars. Uh, halfway through, I kind of figured the way it uh, the way it would end. Also, Star Lord is an idiot. He is an idiot. But go with he's talking about the bit where he's going to get his glove off. Yes. Do, do you think he should have just?" How do you think that should have played out? Not like that, obviously. Was that always going to be like that? Because that was a scenario that Strange saw. Well, Strange never... What is Strange doing at that point? No, Stark and, and Peter are doing Oh, he's that. on the other arm, maybe? No, because he lets, the, he lets the, the bands off. He's using the Crimson Bands. Yeah. And then... I think he's staying back deliberately. I think he's on him. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is on him. Okay. I don't remember where. Because I know Peter Parker's... He might, he might be on his non-gauntlet arm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, because okay, Peter yeah. Parker and Tony Stark are on the other arm. Because Pete webs, his, webs one arm yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But I think he might deliberately be... Look, assuming that the Russo brothers know what they're doing in this, in this circumstance mm. and that they've said, okay, Strange knows the only way that they're going to win is the way that's happening now. Yeah. He has to be... He has to... He's like, okay, he's set up this system to fail. Yes. Because why else would he let Peter Quill come up with that plan that's yeah. not going to work? Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Eh, it's not wrong. It's, yeah. And he could have done... Again, he could have could have chopped that arm off. Yep. He could have bloody... Give him a little tickle. But again, that wouldn't have worked probably because there's yeah. only one scenario. Yeah. Because he was like, I saw 14 million scenarios. How many worked? 
about half. Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. not as... We can go with any of them, really. Yeah. Uh, Kalito says, Loved Infinity War, best movie ever, except I felt the Guardians joke slowed down the film. Those moments are good for those films, but with everyone else needing a bit of screen time, it would have been best to shorten those. Yeah, I can see that. Who didn't get enough screen time, do you feel? Captain America. He didn't get enough screen time, yeah. Yeah, and mm. so probably Black Widow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That team in general didn't get a lot of play, Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Mm. Next time, though. Yeah. Austin says... Uh, just got out of Infinity War and I'm emotionally wrecked loved it though and William says Infinity War was everything Justice League wasn't uh, only gripe was that Alf woman CGI was about as good as Steppenwolf Thanos was amazing so there you go mm-hmm. oh sorry one more from Jack here says Avengers Infinity War was such a fun movie but still an intense thrill ride the Russos did an impossible job of balancing all the characters without feeling stuffed and the action was incredible the highlight was Thanos best movie ever alright pretty good I'm sure we'll come back to this Many times between now and next year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what it's time for? Oh, it's time for our famous segment, What We Read and What Are We Gonna Read? Mm. I'm doing a thing. What are we reading today? <laughs> oh, it's Pitch Perfect 3. And? It's not very good. Yeah. No the, the first two were great. It's a Elizabeth shame. Banks directed the third one as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a shame. It's not very good. Well, what are Wish you gonna, good. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Literally nothing. I haven't really been watching anything because I've been working on that amazing Easter egg video that took up all my time. I even had to put down God of War, which I'm really into. Wow. That's great. If you don't have God of War, get God of War. Even if you haven't played any other God of Wars. Okay. Yeah. He's, got a, he's got a son now. He's got a son. And, he's, and he gets his son to decode runes or something? Correct. Or read things because yes. he can't read? Yes. So he can't read Nordic. Okay, right. Yeah. But it's, I really like the... Nerdic. I like it much better than, than the other ones. Because the other one is just like you're blindly smashing, which is good. They're great games. Yeah, yeah. But this is, it's it's just a really good game. This is a sequel to the others. It's not a reboot? No. Okay. I mean, it sort of is, but it, it's a straight up sequel. And there's, yeah. al- and there's elements of like there's hints at where he's from and things that he's done. But is this, So this is his second family. Didn't, he, didn't yeah, his, he first his first family, family. get killed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he killed his first family. Yeah. Yes. Brutal. By accident. Oh, oh. Ares moved the okay. whole thing. So do you have another wife? Yes. What's his wife? Uh, she's dead at the start oh, of this Oh, what? Come on. I don't know, man. Did he kill her? No. Okay. She got sick or whatever. All right. Yeah. It's, mm. a, it's the motivations for the story mm. and bringing his son together. With oh, also, I've been re-watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And? It's my new series. It's my new... It's my new season of... It's my new series of... I can just be in the t- in the house watching yes, something on TV. Absolutely. I can go make a sandwich and it makes no difference. Here's something about Brooklyn no. Line 9 that may ruin it for you. Because it that? ruins a bit of it for me. I'm even ready. though I think it's good. Yes. Because you know in, say, The Office, when yep. someone w- wants to make a funny little aside, they'll yes. cut to them in an interview and they'll be like, well, that went how it shouldn't have gone or whatever. Uh-huh. This, the main cop, Jake Peralta, will just turn his head and go... That's not what happened in Die Hard or whatever. Yeah, you right, know what right. I mean? No, I'm and okay he, with that. And he just does that. Yeah, that's true. Whenever, yeah. and, it, and then the yeah. things just go on. Anyway, we're watching that. But again, the plots don't matter. No. Just, you can just go in and out and watch the jokes. There's and fun it's moments, yeah. And everybody's great in it. Yeah. And MVP of all TV comedy is Andre Brower as Captain Holt, who is he's just. He's so good. He's the best at just. Really he good. He never breaks. Ever, that is ever. a great cast, though, yeah, in general. So good. Yeah, it's a good show. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's everything for what we oh, were reading. Right. Do I have letters? I oh, guess. Maybe, maybe letters. Maybe. We can do letters. We can do letters. The classic one was letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. We're going to be here right now. We're going to do letters. <laughs> Good work. Nice. Okay. Oh, just quickly, before we yes. do letters, uh, Lights Camera Podcast. The boys over at there, Mason. That's right. One of us was going to guest this week. For various reasons that we won't get into it, neither of us could do it. <laughs> yes. It's a great show. People should check it out. But they did a death pool uh, to find out who was going to die in Avengers Infinity War. Yeah, we talked about right. a couple episodes back. Mm-hmm. Uh, 5,000 pe- uh, Only 32 people out of 5,000 who entered had the four correct death predictions for the death pool. Wow. Uh, that person has a total of 10,900 total points uh, with Gamora, Peter Quill, Black Panther. Don't Panthers. say him. No, because I said letters at the start. Oh, all right, okay, okay. All right, cool. All right, uh, uh, and and uh, Black Panther, Spider Man, they'll win Marvel prizes and a uh, um, uh, lights camera podcast and a Weekly Planet T shirt. So Ooh, yeah, nice. well done to that Very person nice. here. I was going to read out their email, but I will not. Okay, but it's K Nallis who anyway. <laughs> that's good. But you should listen to that show also. It's yeah, a nice. great show. They're good dudes. They are. All right. Uh, got a letter, Mason? Yeah, I do. This is kind of a visual one. This is just for you, but I'll tweet it later. Please do. Uh, this is from Peter Atkin. Uh, my mum made me what must have been a very confusing cake for my birthday, and I thought you might find it funny. Love the podcast. This is Peter Atkin from York. York? 
Here's the cake. <laughs> That's very good. It is a Mr. Sunday <laughs> Movies cake. It's a goat head. That's really good. It's a massive goat head connected to a tiny little Lego body. It's incredible. Yeah, that's a really solid looking cake, man. Anyway, I'll give that a bit of a tweet later. Please do. Yes. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. Anyway, happy birthday. Happy bloody birthday. And happy birthday to everyone who has a birthday. Oh, and speaking of birthdays, here comes Ollie, the podcast dog. Who has a birth date of indeterminate. Correct. That's about now. Is it? Yeah, about now. Do you count? Are you counting when you adopted her? Uh, well, she was probably... She was, I don't know how old she is exactly. Yeah, right. Six years ago from now. Happy birthday, Happy dog. Happy birthday, Ollie. You're Whenever I dog. mention Ollie's name, we always get a few email, emails of like, ha, I found out the name of the podcast dog. I think we've said it like three years ago. But, yeah, right. But that's still good. Mm-hmm. All right, here. Uh, I'm trying to find a question that's not MCU related just yet, nice. but we'll go back to that. Uh, it is a good one. It's from Grant. Hey, you, oh, if you want to reach the show, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter. Uh-huh. Or weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. Yes. To send Meso an email. Thank you. My phone was lighting up this week with... Blowing up. Blow, so that e- email is probably jam-packed, is it? Oh, it's jam-packed. Very right. good. Yeah. It's from Grant says, Hey guys, huge fan of the show. Got to the point uh, where the pod is becoming a drug and I'm having withdrawals every week. Have you ever considered doing a whole podcast on your famous letters segment? Yes, we have. We have, yeah. We might. We'll probably do it as like Patreon, yeah. a Patreon thing. And where we thing, just like, mm. like every, like maybe once a month, we just clear out the letters. Mm. Just, to, just we we do them all. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. The other in thing, brief I'm, detail, in brief as you like. Mm. Uh, but we'll do that after the charity campaign. Yeah, right? for sure. Probably mm-hmm. if we do it at all. Yeah, yeah. The other thing I wanted to try this week was the video that's going up on. Thursday is normally a Weekly Planet excerpt, Mm -hmm. but we're going to record a little extra thing at the end of this. I'm going to give that a go. So if you're listening to this and you want more podcasts, it'll be on my YouTube channel on Thursday. Uh, Not every week, but we thought we'd just try something a little bit different. Um, Anything to keep the old romance alive, you know what I mean? You better believe it, Mason. Try bloody anything. But no, that's definitely something we've we've considered. Got another letter there, Mason? Nah. I'll find one. Even though there's so many letters in there? There's so many letters. (laughs) This one's just from Joseph Brown. Infinity War thoughts. Hey, James, Claire, and Nick. Yo. Claire doesn't care. No. About this. Did she see it? Did she, she did. Seen it? She liked it. Think? The battle sequence was a bit too long. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's all. That's all. The, the only part of that letter I'm going to read. Okay, good. <laughs> Most of the rest of it's spoilers, so probably. Oh, okay. Well, we can talk about spoilers here, nah, Mason. I don't want to. Here's a good question. I'm ready. This is a spoiler. Okay. okay. People aren't here. Brett says if Thanos killed half of life, why are the trees in the jungle not disappearing? Oh, good question. I think he just meant like. Peeps. Yeah, peeps. Just peeps. Yeah. Peeps and alien peeps. Peeps yeah. and peeps. Heaps oh peeps oh? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, here's a good question also about this. Uh Poddy ninety four says, one question, where was Valkyrie on the Asgardian ship? Which could also be like where's Korg? Where's Meek? Yep. There's mm-hmm. a bunch of other people yeah. there. There's a line during the film where Thor says half the people are gone. Yes. Thanos killed half the ship. So I presume they jettisoned or he just let them escape. I don't yeah, think they right. were on the ship when he blew it up. No, I think so too. I think if you didn't see him die, they didn't. Yeah. Uh, and I think if, um, I mean, potentially what he did is he went, okay, well, you know, 500 people left on an escape craft. There are 500 people here, so I'm just going to kill all 500. Yes, exactly. Like that, yeah. You know, that'll do. Absolutely. It works out. He's done the maths before. He knows yeah. He knows what's up. Couple more letters, Mason. Okay. Uh, Salam says, is it possible for some of the people that, uh, that were affected by uh, the snap were scrolls? Sure. Yeah, possibly. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah they, I mean, in the universe, almost certainly. They're they're not exempt, are they? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, they don't have I, a special letter from their mums, do they? No, they don't. Mm. Do you think that would fly? Like Thanos would be okay with that? You got a letter from your mum that says. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Mm. He's all about that family relationship, you know. Boy, is he. Uh, Master Shake four one seven. If we're talking Infinity War still, when uh, Doctor Strange, Spider Man, and Iron Man fight the alien wizard, Mister Schmancy Pants Man. Yes. Uh, I noticed he was wearing a number of rings. Do you think they are the rings of power? I do not. Ah, okay. I don't think they. I are. didn't notice that at all. No, I didn't either. Are the rings of power tech? Didn't you say they're tech? they are alien technology? Yeah. yeah. But no, I think I think the Mandarin, as he exists in the Marvel universe, already has them. Yeah. Right. Okay. I don't yeah. think. Yeah. I don't think he's getting them now because his organization is called the Ten Rings. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. I think he's got them already. Some people just have rings. Like some people just have bracelets. Yeah. So you know many I mean? bracelets. So many bracelets. Yeah. Oh my God. There's so many Infinity War letters in here. Uh, Zachary Allen wants to know, could Doctor Strange's portal his arm head off? Good question. I don't think so. No, I don't. Th- I think I think made. It's not addressed. He would have given it a go. He would have given it a go. Yeah. Either he's either he's 
wouldn't he was going to give it a go or he set the, or Doctor Strange set this plan up to fail. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing. We were talking earlier about what what would make me not like this movie. Yes. And I think it's if if these issues aren't addressed. Right, yeah. If if Doctor Strange it, it doesn't go, well I knew I couldn't kill him because I needed this to happen. Yeah, right. Then I'd be very mad that he didn't try it at least once. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Mm. Did you find we, we didn't really have this in our movie. But there were, I know people have sent in saying they missed moments of it where because people were laughing or cheering or crying or whatever. Ours was pretty quiet, wasn't it, for the whole... Yeah, it was, yeah, that's I true. I mean, it, it was a screening, but yeah, it was pretty... Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't miss any dialogue yes. at, at any point, I don't think, which was good. Uh, Lewis Waldron asks, and yeah. a couple of people have actually asked this on Twitter. It's, the thing about Twitter now is that a lot of people are like, hey, what do you think about this theory? And you can't reply to them because no. then everybody sees your Everyone reply sees and then it, people yeah. are spoiled. So there's been a lot of people I've just kind of left hanging. Yeah. Um, Lewis Waldron and a couple of other people on Twitter said to me or asked, uh, he says, my thoughts are that the people who died at the end of Infinity will have been sent into another reality or dimension and the next film is about getting them back. Okay. What do you think about that? Yeah, right. Uh, somebody, a- somebody on Twitter said, do you think that they have been sent to, all the new guys have been sent to another reality and there'll be separate realities from this point forward? I don't think that's the case. Yeah. They may. I, look, I can't potentially, I mean, I can't rule out that they, all the guys who, everybody who died gets sent to another reality. Yeah. And maybe they're living their lives oblivious to this. Mm. But I think if that's the case, I think I, my, I'm 100% that they're dead. Yeah. My, they're just, they're just no, they no longer exist. Not like trapped in the soul stone nah, or anything like nah, that. No, they're gone. Because the soul be... stone does trap souls. I guess so. Yeah. I think they'll be back. Yeah, I, I yeah. completely agree. I don't agree. think this will become some sort of parallel dimension, split dimension thing. Yeah. I think it'll just be they're gone and they'll be back. All right, how about this, Mason? This is non-Avengers Infinity War. Ah, oh, what? Gents, have you watched the Gunpowder on HBO starring Kit Harrington? It's about the plot to blow up, blow up Parliament in the 1600s. I haven't. From Matt. That sounds oh, yeah. good. It does sound good. Do we go on to an episode on it about that plot? It oh, is, then I don't need to watch this show. But it's then, also insane because it's so inept and everybody's so inept. Yeah, in right. That, in that scenario, like they're storing gunpowder and firewood or whatever under the, you know, in, and people are like, that's probably nothing. And then the king's like, maybe you should see if it's not nothing. Yeah, right. So it, was very, it very nearly happened, even though everybody was really bad at it. That's true. Yeah. Anything else? No, nah, that'll do it. Okay, then. Yeah. Thanks for people sending in your thoughts. There's there's uh, so many. I'm sure we'll be coming back to this next week. So if you've got more questions, thoughts, concerns, do the uh, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod or That's Weekly Planet the one. Pod at gmail.com. Also, if you send an email, Mason, you're a guaranteed reply from Mason. Absolutely. Every single one. Yeah. Don't, don't even worry about it, mate. Not even a stock one. Just a fresh one. Just a fresh paragraph and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Graph and a half. That's what they call me. That's what they call him. Mm-hmm. Okay, graph and a half. Do you want to bring the show to I'd bloody end? love to. Thank you for finally <laughs> using the nickname that I've demanded of you. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening to the show. That's mm-hmm. number one. We appreciate that. Yeah. A bloody heck of a lot. Yeah. Thanks to our great sponsors this week. Absolutely. Very good. Mac well, Thank you awesome. to everybody who subscribes and says a nice thing and recommends it to a friend. That'd and the charity campaign, we really appreciate those who are Anybody who's put in any, literally yeah. anything. Yeah. If you want to donate a buck, you can, you can ask a question. If it's a good question, we'll probably answer it. And if it's a bad question, we'll probably still answer it. Yeah. It's a very real possibility. That's very true. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, you can contact us on Weekly Planet Pod on Facebook and Twitter and Gmail and Bandcamp. Correct. Uh, there's a Planet Broadcasting Great Mates group. There's also Planet Broadcast. Oh, that's on Facebook. Yes. There's nearly 10,000 members right now, I think. Oh, cool. And Excellent. It's still civil. It's amazing. Well, there was, there's been, there was an incident which I missed earlier this week, which Levin's uh, and you w- were sorting. But the basic rule is... Don't hey, be a dickhead. Don't be a dickhead. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and that's uh, been adhered to. Uh, and you can also go to planetbroadcasting.com, sign yes. up for our newsletter. Correct. Uh, let's say if you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Movies. Or and chucking a buck if chuck you'd like. Buck. There's Hashtag. a commentary there for Civil War. That's right. Hashtag uh, chucking a buck. We're probably going to do a Deadpool commentary before next. Yeah, week. let's do that. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We can. You can also go to the Amazon affiliate link in our episode description. Yep. All you have to do is click through and buy all 18 previous uh, Marvel movies. That's all you need to do. We'd appreciate that. We get a kickback from that somehow. That's or right. Or literally anything you can buy. That'll, yeah. That'll work for us. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our theme and musics. We have some t-shirts on tpublic.com. Yep. We also have that. We're looking at doing a limited edition run with Fergal Quigley of t-shirts, yeah, right. which he's working on at the moment. I'm excited to have, I'm excited to buy that I'm fine question mark t-shirt. Yeah. That'd be good. Um, what would you be more upset about or more happy to see? Yeah. The, uh, our friend who got his birthday cake with 
the goat man face or what if it was your actual face oh I want actual faces yeah, fine that'd be it's incredible. a little bit weird though isn't it nah does my great. face translate to cake well it translates to that t-shirt design <laughs> that's so. true yeah can you capture the tiredness of a man's eyes with cake though yeah you absolutely can yeah, yeah. okay good yeah. If you, I mean if you can't you can just add some little icing tears <laughs> so that would just one tear welling up ready to go <laughs> Uh, that's the lot, I think. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, thanks for everybody for listening. That's yeah, a bloody, that's great. bloody good on you, mates. Yeah, and then people who review and do all those things. Yeah. I'm not sure what we're doing next week. Maybe... Maybe it's Deadpool? No. Okay, then. Something else. Cool. I thought we could do, like, maybe at some point the future of the MCU, but it feels a little soon. Yes, that's true. So, can we've talked about a lot of that here, so... We've got a topic I do love rampant speculation, though. Me, too. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I know people want another topic episode, so we'll squeeze one in next yeah, let's, week. let's yeah. do it. Sounds Squeeze it in! Unless there's a secret Cloverfield movie this week or something. <laughs> we can only hope. I'm sure there will be. Ah. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Grab that gem, you guys. For reals. It's yeah. another grab that gem. It's a bloody, it's a hot week for grabbing those gems. Oh, Let me so tell you. Hot. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want, it's up to you.